Hey everybody, welcome to the Keep Tapping X podcast. My name is David and I'm the only one here today because I was given permission to start this podcast and it's without... Shut up, ghost. Shut up, ghost. Here without Colby or Blake today. It's the ghost of podcast past. It is kind of redundant. F- February 20th. Podcast past. It's a, it's alliteration. You know, wait, I'm wait, not wait, here wait, to wait. impress you. The poltergeist of podcast past. The poltergeist of podcast past. Is it liter- alliteration Phantom? with the no. same word? Huh? Yes. Oh, alliteration. No. We have P- podcast right? past. For some reason, I thought it was like past pass. I don't know. Like, I'm not even like here, pod but... past. Yeah, pod I don't know. past past cast. That's why I was confused. Hey everybody, Ooh. welcome. Video Got games are cool. Uh, yeah, what? yeah. Pen. Yeah, here we go. Woo! We're in it to win it. Video games. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hit you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been about two weeks. Yeah, a week, whatever. There was a storm. Yeah, two. Col- yeah, Kobe had no power. Yeah, I didn't have power, so we couldn't record last week. Loser. Was, yeah, loser. But I had pizza at a place called Jay's Pizza in Providence. How was it? Good. Very good. They good. had specialty pizzas, and it was did delicious. You, did you meet Jay? Uh, no. He wasn't there. Did you have a specialty pizza, or did you have yes. a normal pizza like a loser? I had a, I had a little specialty pizza. Uh, fun fact, I don't know what I ate. <laughs> what I do you ordered mean? it, and I just ate it. What was, was it was called? Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> Could have been like AIDS. Was it, it meat? Been. Was it vegetables? Yes. There were red peppers, some weird <laughs> cheese. I didn't know what it was. Gouda. Something else. Mm. Ooh, the but then I also had French fries there. They're banging fries. I'm not gonna lie. Is it like French fries, mm. like steak fries, or those? No, no. I I don't touch steak fries. I ate steak fries. They're gross. Damn. Damn. They're curly right. fries. Uh, curly fries are banging. What about well, those orange fries? Waffle fries. Orange fries. Sweet potato. Fries? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what like about those. them? What about them? Damn, them they're orange ones. What about them baked fries? <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I like them. In that shell. In that in that shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I like seasoned fries. They're really good. Yeah. I like my fries well done. And I don't like them like just thick. That's why steak fries are just like an abomination. I like yeah, shoestring yeah. fries I agree, as well. I agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Waffle fries are the best. Waffle fr- not the best, but They're I like waffle the best. fries. They're top tier? Yeah. Nah, top tier. I don't know. Guys. I don't know. But good stuff. Jay's Pizza, I think it's called. It's like, Jay's Pizza. It's like affiliated with Julian's. Have you ever heard of Julian's? Is a popular place around yeah. there? Yeah. It's like affiliated with that. Anyway. Cool. Interesting. Why? What? Why? why why am I talking about this? Let's go, know, on the, let's, move on to, let's go to the videos. What kind of videos? The games. Our videos? No. The videos that we produce and direct? Listen, this is a special podcast. It Why? Is. We're incorporating five news stories from last week and five news stories from this week. That's yeah. right. Nothing but the mm-hmm. best of news. Mostly the highlightest of news. Because I made the itinerary last week. And we didn't get to talk about it. And... Yeah. I didn't want to waste three hours of my life. That's right. fair. Yeah, that's very yeah, fair. fair. We'll bang right through them. And uh, updates for the channel. We just posted Doty Doty Literature Club finale. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Finally. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, really? It took so long since we posted other stuff. And yeah, just, yeah. You know, the way. Whatever. But super fun game. Crazy stuff. We The episode where you lost your voice is up there. Episode 11. Best episode. Yeah. When I lost my voice for a week. The dedication in that episode. Yeah, you can listen back to our podcast where I lost my voice and that's the reason why. <laughs> so, good stuff. Um, other than that, we're going to be posting some more Dokkan. And then David and I recorded a new game today. Yeah. Uh, the Temporal Invasion. That's It's it's cool. I it's like it. It's a really cool game. It's like a puzzle-oriented game. If you guys liked, um, I recommend our playthrough of Untold Stories Story, Untold. Stories Untold, excuse yeah. me. Um, kind of similar to that in terms of the puzzle solving, but yep. um, less... Um, the narrative is a little weaker in delivery, yeah. I suppose. The production it, values aren't as high. You yeah, can tell exactly, they were, yes. didn't have a high... Budget. Um, it, it's a, it's like conspiracy theory based. Yeah. It's based around all that stuff. Cool stuff though. Cool yeah. stuff. So check that out. We'll be posting that eventually. So, uh, I think that's it right now. Cool. Shall we move on? To our news. I already seen that. I already <laughs> seen that meme. I saw that too. <laughs> yeah. Um. So let's move on to the new releases. New releases. New releases, my friend. What has released in the past two weeks? I think there's a whole bunch. Yeah. So give me, give me the highlights. Well, I'm telling you all. Oh, okay. February 23rd, we got Past Cure. Past. PC, PS4, Xbox One. We got Past Cure. Sword. What? I said that. Yeah. Cure. <laughs> Podcast Cure. Past. <laughs> past uh, Cure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sword Art Online, Fatal Bullet for PC, PS4, Xbox One. We Did got that already come out? Yeah. 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 February 23rd. Heard, oh, yeah. heard. I watched some streamer play uh-huh. it. Uh, not a streamer Trash. I knew. It was just on like the front page. 
kind of looked like grindy yeah yeah um but didn't mm-hmm. look bad yeah nicole's brother plays it because he plays all the sao games yeah. and i was watching him just like kill stuff over and over and i was like this looks boring the sao games aren't like bad yeah they're just like basic yeah so you know what i mean kind of like, reminds me of the dot hat games yeah in a, sense. In a way in a way <laughs> uh, coincidence yeah. not really <laughs> what well, we got you may nikki dream diary for pc you're right nikki Oh yeah, <laughs> Mirai, Mirai, Mirai Nikki. He says you, you, why you and me? Mirai Nikki. Is, I is it a different diary? thing? Oh, maybe it is a different. I know Mirai Nikki is an anime. Yeah, right. Oh, it says why you and me, Nikki colon dream diary. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't I, sound. I'm out horrifying. of touch with the animes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. February twenty seventh. We yeah. got chrono trigger for pc we'll talk about that later wow. yeah uh de blob 2 remastered for ps4 and xbox one we got girls and pan zer dream tank match for pc uh, ps4 we got gravel <laughs> or gravel whichever gravel. you want to pronounce <laughs> it for pc ps4 and xbox one Mongrels. heroin anthem zero for ps4 we got moss just some moss on a rock. Sure. Oh, is PS4. that the mouse game? No. With the, oh, the VR. Yeah, 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 that's the VR mouse oh. yeah, yeah. adventure, yeah. Payday 2 for the Switch, which I hear is a poopy port. Garbage. Um, February 28th, we got Darkest Dungeon for Xbox One. Hey, we got uh... H1Z1 for PC. March 2nd, we got Pit People. Mm-hmm. Pit People. That's PC, finally out of Alpha. Xbox One. March 6th, we got Bravo Team. PS4. We got DJ Max Respect. <laughs> for PS4, Fear Effect, Sedna, Sedna. Did you just say like album names? Like, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I'm gonna say Sedna. PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. We got Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition for yeah. PC. Uh, Frantics for PS4. Uh, Scribble Knots Showdown for Switch, PS4, Xbox One. March 7th, we got Crutchel for Android, Crutchel. iOS, and PC. And finally, March 8th, Warhammer. Vermintide. Oh, Vermintide. Vermintide. Oh, Vermintide. Vermintide two. Two. Yeah. The second. The, it's like um, the reckoning. It's basically PC. Left for Dead, but with loot and Warhammer setting. Yep. So, Interesting. Which is cool. Yeah. You're into that. Uh, looks like a fun game. Not really my jam. No, I'm. I'm not big into the Warhammer. Universe. I want to play I, the second uh, the Warhammer uh, Total, Total War, War too. too yeah. Really bad with you because yeah. like somebody was rambling to me about the races in that game and mm-hmm. they looked much more interesting than the first one. I've seen some stuff on it. It looks amazing. Yeah, every class looks or every race looks very particular about their own thing. Even though I've heard some games take days, but you know, it's yeah, fine. it was like Civilization or whatever. Yes, yeah. whatever. Good streaming game. When we're snowed in or something. That's I true. I, I'm down to play it. So have our stream. Let's go. All right. All right. And let's go on to the news. Let's take it back. Ooh. To the week of February 23rd to March 2nd. Okay. This is going to be retro. <laughs> retro. Retro. So, the ESRB is, will add in-game purchases label to games. Let me explain. So the ESRB said uh, the other week that it will start adding the in-game purchases, in quotes, uh, label to any game that lets you pay real money for digital goods. The label will apply to bonus levels, skins, surprise items such as item packs, loot boxes, mystery awards, music, virtual coins and other forms of in-game currency, subscriptions, and Season passes and upgrades. So huh. every game, yeah, every game ever will have existed. this label. Yes, every game ever. Because I, I agreed with it until you said season passes. Because mm-hmm. that just means if it has DLC, yep, it'll yeah. have in-game purchases, which is literally every game. So this label <laughs> won't uh, differentiate between microtransactions and expansions. So it might wind up on every modern video game. Yep. Yeah. Um, as long as you can buy something through a game's menu, the game will get this label. So the ESRB does not plan to focus specifically on loot boxes since, to quote them, a large majority of parents do not understand what they are. So it's very important for true. them to not harp on loot boxes per se and to and what? to make that, sure I, that I they're that. capturing loot boxes but also other game, yeah. in-game tran- in transactions. So. Mm-hmm. Well, 
That's, I, but being vague doesn't tell anybody uh, anything. Yeah. I, so I agree with them, but I don't agree with them at the same time. Yeah. I would harp <laughs> on it because the only way to get people aware of that is to talk about it. Yeah. Right. Until they make people aware of like what that means. Or or they could just be like in game purchases in parentheses DLC. Blah, 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 or in game purchases yeah. include yeah, includes this, this and this. Well they, yeah, well they also have to think of like they can't be too abrasive, I think. Yeah. To you know, the box art of a company and whatnot, because that has it's very yeah, important. That's like, true. It's like nice if you have like this really nice cover, and then all of a sudden you just have this like giant white stamp of like all. I mean, the have you seen like the Peggy logo? Oh, that's true. It's that's like true. I, I, I just assume <laughs> they're gonna. The, put yeah, this. they suck in that regard. <laughs> you, you know, on the I back of the box, us. huh? That's the ratings board for like your. Yeah, ratings. yeah, yeah. But you know, on the back of the box where it says like either says like one player or multiplayer, and then it says like this, this, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this. It, that's probably where they're gonna put it probably so like if it's just like on the back of just another list like right under that saying like it like in-game currency loot boxes dlc mm. like they could just do that right yeah that makes sense or to, and just put a different colored border around it to mean in-game purchases i mean know? the fact of the matter is i think nobody is convinced that this is going to do anything no to every mobile game ever it. already says in that purchases yeah so and that doesn't do anything so it's expected <laughs> in mobile games <laughs> yeah but um yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? I mean, do you think it? What What do they have to do to like make that a more effective? Um, be more specific. Yeah, but they won't. That's kind of the only thing they can do. Yeah, like because they're Awareness. they're right. Most when it comes to kids buying games, where their parents still buy the games for them mm. or with them, parents that don't play games don't understand. Like right. if it says loot boxes, they don't know what like what is that? Sounds cool. Yeah, I'll they, get you six. Or if it says DLC, they don't know what that stands for. Yeah, you know, like so. Even listing that won't really do much when it comes to kids. I, yeah, that's you know? true. I mean, I guess what they should put in the back is don't let your kids have your credit card. Yes. <laughs> that's that's the warning. Yeah, that's the I mean, warning. If, uh, it's, if it said in-game purchases, maybe that that's enough. Yeah. But I don't know. Even then, I, I guess as a, as a parent who wouldn't know anything, I, I don't think I'd know what that would mean. In-game purchases. In-game yeah. purchases. Like, what does that mean, I yeah. guess? It, uh, maybe it's enough to ask the store the person yeah. at the store what does this mean uh, i don't right. know <laughs> yeah right maybe specify in-game purchases with real money yeah, yeah. there you go yeah was, yeah they would have to get like pretty specific to like yeah. yeah yeah well i mean it's a step forward i guess a small step <laughs> one small step for games esrb esrb oh well people who know what it means don't they they, they keep buying the stuff too so I'm sure there will be changes made, edits to the system. Yeah, hopefully loot boxes will fall out of fashion. Yeah, right. Go okay, <laughs> sure. You try and find a I'm way to, hopeful. Make, to make the difference of that, you know. Uh, I'm hopeful. Was. You're a fool. That's what you are. Whatever. <laughs> Good segue. Uh, <laughs> so, a big news story from the other week. Chrono Trigger was shadow dropped on Steam on no. February 27th for $15. Kobe, would you like to explain this uh, graph no. uh, well, I, if you have, I the, have on screen? If you look on the graph on the screen here, you can tell we see on the y-axis uh-huh. here, we have hype, yep. level of hype that is generated by gener- by the public interest. And on the x-axis here, there's nothing labeled. Yeah, it, does, it, it, over, it doesn't need to be. I just, it's the you know the hype Maybe level time. over time. It's always time. Yes, it, mm-hmm. it seems to be upon realization. Yeah, so, right. as you can see, by the beginning of the, uh, we call it the hype train, uh-huh. it was on a, a steep incline leading mm. upward upon the uh, the announcement of Chrono Trigger on the Steam platform. That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. You can see it has reached optimal hype, mm-hmm. that midway through the, uh, the, the hype track, yep. if you will. Uh, but then... Something occurred. Something terrible. Crashed. Plummeted. The hype market crashed, if you will, upon uh, realiza- realization that this Steam port was nothing but a mobile port mm. brought to PC. But, Kelby, mm. it's Chrono Trigger. Mm. Of course there's going to be hype. Mm. How could this go wrong? Here you see. Blake, why don't you go into the details of it as you surely have? <laughs> sure. So, um, so Chrono Trigger, there's... In addition to this, there's a Chrono Trigger limited edition available on Steam until April 2nd. Um, includes five songs. Um, five songs. On, wait, on, there's more. Uh, <laughs> but Holy five. You can probably get the soundtrack. Yasinori Mitsuda's digital linear notes. Oh, liner notes. Not linear, that wouldn't make sense. In six wallpapers. What is a liner note? I don't, I don't know. know. I have no idea. Look it up. 
liner notes. I have no it's clue up. what that so, means. Yeah. Um. So, in addition to this, Chrono Trigger for iOS and Android <coughs> also received a major update, bringing all PC enhancements to mobile, including Retina and cloud save features and Apple TV support. They have been upgraded to "quote unquote" the definitive edition. Oh. I found all the notes. For Chrono Trigger. <laughs> all the liner notes. <laughs> Read a passage. Okay. Um, By passage, I mean a sentence. Pick one. Um, thus, I obtained my current job composing for the company called Square. Next time, however, I suppose I'll have to take the first step in initiative in following my dream. So this is like his diary. Yeah, it's like literally his diary of That's when he weird. joined. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like that. Uh, it's insight. That's cool. Oh, it's, it's his, yeah, it's how he created the OST. Oh. oh. They stole it. So, here's the bad news about Chrono Trigger. Wait, before Steam. before you uh-huh. tell me the bad news, uh-huh. do you know the consensus of the original mobile version of this game? Poop. Like the even well, if you, on, even if you on look the on like the app store, it's like yeah. a three three star. All right, two and a half. Right. That explains it. All right. So, Chrono Trigger on PC is just. The phone version ported to PC, touch controls and all, and worst of all, emoji mm. is not supported. <laughs> it's true. If you look it's at true, the text, yeah. mm-hmm. which is not on screen, but if you look at the trailer, yeah, it looks straight out of fucking RPG Maker. Yeah, it looks the text. Oh horrible. yeah, it's RPG oh, Maker. Oh, it's very gross. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I highly recommend checking out the PC trailer because it is gross. Yeah, it's something to behold. And yeah, when you type in the character's name, it's like emoji not supported, even mm-hmm. though you're on PC. And like the freaking even the the like joist the touch joystick is like still there on screen and like every it's so they didn't bad. even try they no. didn't even try so not only that the visuals Ugh. have multiple gross shaders over them yep so in a comparison so first picture is a Hegan emulated and scaled screenshot. From the original game. Yep. Look, nice. Gorgeous. Looks Gorgeous, good. Yeah. Looks great. Game, the colors. The game visuals will last a lifetime. Yeah. Colors pop. Second yep. picture. PC. Oh my l- god. L- look at um, what's your face, and k- keep going back and forth. Not uh, not like on the video, but like just like. Ugh, what the hell? Disgusting. Yeah. What, what do they that? do? Look at it's the like, flag. It's like Vaseline. Look at the red flag on the left. Ooh. <laughs> it's like completely different. What the hell? Oddly enough, the bell almost looks better in the second one. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the bell is actually like completely like redone for some reason. Yeah, look at that. It looks smooth yeah. as fuck. Good job. That's assholes. so strange. Yeah, the, look how washed out these like, they took their, you know, the red, uh, red, blue, green tint. They just like put everything down, just like ramped up that mm-hmm. green. They yep. just ramped it up there. Yep. It's gross. So when you first uh, posted in the, the Keep Tapping X chat mm. that this was coming, I immediately went to Steam and I was like, 35% positive reviews. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but why? It's Chrono Trigger. And, yeah. And I will scroll down. Every good review that there was was like, it's Chrono Trigger. Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. And all the bad ones are like, this game is amazing. This port is crap. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> what sheer disrespect. Yeah. That's awful. Like, they, they had to have known this would have gotten backlash. They don't right. care. It's no, Chrono Trigger. That's, yeah, it's Chrono yeah, yeah. People are going to buy it. It can't go wrong? Yeah. It, I mean, it did. It went horribly wrong. <laughs> that sucks. I, I, for I, back to the graph. Yeah. I just wish they cared about this game. Yeah. Well, they did when they put it on DS. Yeah, the best that's true. version yeah. of the game, yeah, that's really I should true. just point out. Yeah, yeah, it really is. If you do yourself Incredible a favor <laughs> and like somehow get a DS, I mean, you yeah. can get it. You know, pay like 30 bucks for a DS mm-hmm. and then get that game and then that's all you need. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Or if you have the original copy mm-hmm. on a SNES, then there you go. Um, Otherwise, don't play it. I would like to play Chrono or, Cross. Emulate, I don't know. Chrono Cross is a good game. That's what I hear. People love that game. Man. I know oh, Corey geez, likes it. Know. I mean, the, gr- the graphics are... Corey and the band of fandoms. <laughs> he, he enjoys the game. Shout outs. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, Chrono Cross, the graphics are poopy. The game's oh. great. It's yeah. Why is it PS One game? Yeah, exactly. Isn't yeah. it over like sixty playable characters? There's a lot. Yeah, in that's that game. Stupid. For a There's PlayStation a One game, it's crazy. And that's the big, the biggest thing about that game is you play half of the game as one set of characters and half as the other. Really? Yeah, hmm. it's interesting. It's all time manipulation, I yeah. believe. So it's great. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, you should play it at some point. Reminds me of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, where you can get like 
like 35 partners. <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't even want to deal with that. That game, man. I Let's not talk about it. Yeah, yeah. we don't talk about Xenoblade. We're, we're not, not, not going to talk about the Wii U, especially after uh, the other night. Oh, no, yeah. I know, yeah. Ooh, we'll get Wii, to that. Wii U doesn't exist. Rest in peace. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. So, <laughs> we'll put that picture up uh, later. Uh, so, on to other news. Yep. So, Friday the 13th is getting a perk system upgrade and uh, legendary perks. So, let me explain. Let me explain. Please. So, the perk screen for counselors have gotten a slight reworking of the user interface. Um, I don't have a compar- comparison pick, so this is, but this is the work in progress pick. Um, so, so what are, the, are these like their talents, pretty much? Well, you like roll perks, and you can assign them to counselors. You can there's like three slots. Okay. And it's, keep in mind, you can see all these pictures on our YouTube if yeah. you watch the podcast. Yes, go watch on YouTube, please. Yep, or just listen. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, so you see all like the pretty colors. Ooh. Those were added to help people with certain types of color blindness. Why is there oh, one that's a DS? What? Oh, oh, that, oh, that's all locked doors. Like, oh, you can do it, it, looks, it does not... look like DS. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, each perk, as well as the perk legend, noted on the bottom, um, will include a numerical value of one through six as a visual indica- indicator of perk rarity. One for being poor, perks, and while six will denote legendary perks, it used to only go up to five, right. being epic perks. Okay. Now there's a legendary. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, um, previously you could only have 30 perks in the library, but the screenshot here shows you can have 36. Hmm. Keep in mind, there hmm. are 45 perks in total. Okay. Which is lame, because, like, you can't have all the perks at once. Huh. I, so, I yeah. just want to address something in this picture. Yeah. yeah. This perk, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh-huh. it's called Friendship. Its ability is swimming speed permanently increased by 1 to 15% and a stamina consumption reduction while, when swimming. What does that have to do with friendship? <laughs> it has everything to do with you friendship. You can swim faster Apparently, because you're friends. You don't swim often. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, it was, I don't know. I don't know. Also, okay, there's I only one level 5 perk here. Uh, well, that's is not that all just for Kenny? That's not all. Oh, okay. Um, that's just like a... Generalist. Yeah, okay. It's just a bunch. So, um, there's some value changes for perks. Um, there's like, in in the actual notes, there's like percentages, but I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm just gonna tell you if it was buffed yeah, yeah. or nerfed. Yeah, yeah. So the perk for easy listening, with a radio proximity recharge rate boost, got a buff. Um, motor boating, not that. Um, <laughs> boat movement speed increase, got a buff. Um, man at arms weapon durability increase got nerfed. Um, my dad's a cop. Cop arrival time reduction <laughs> got nerfed. <laughs> Quiet swimmer sense detection chance reduction. It's kind of in the middle. Didn't really change. Wow, it cha- like a side grade. It was like boop boop, you know. Um, lead foot car speed increase buff, and aquanaut swimming speed increase buff. But you might ask yourself, what? In the Garsh Darn is a legendary perk. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now. Tell me, please. So, these perks have all the benefits of the perks you know and love. But they also include a legendary stat bonus. Oh. A legendary stat bonus is a small value increase to a predetermined stat. Some examples. You could roll a legendary lead foot perk with plus 19 car driving speed, minus 2 boat driving speed, with a bonus of plus 4 car start. Car start speed. So it's a little, huh. little, little extra. Yeah, you know. Does one of them get me like a rocket launcher? No. <laughs> no. no. So they will be releasing a full listing of legendary bonus stats a little, little closer to when the next update releases. How do you acquire perks? Um, you go on, you all as you do a match, you you gain you gain CP. I don't know what that stands for. Something points. Camp and points. That, <laughs> counselor points. That'd be stupid. Ca- probably capture, that's probably capture it. points. I don't know. Capture. And then you go to the screen and you can hit roll oh. perk, and then you get a, it's like a random thing. Are they just for the match, or you just own those now? Well, you you own them, but mm. you can also sell them to like get some c- CP so you can roll again if you don't want it, or you got a duplicate or something. I gotcha. Mm. Okay. So basically, it was a give box. your counselors like attributes, <laughs> yeah, 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 skills, and blah blah blah. Um. Uh-huh. Also. 
um, away from the legendary perks. If you go to the next screen, um, so the boy Roy. Yes, I won't. <laughs> uh, the, the the latest um new Jason. Uh huh. That T pose. Yes. <laughs> so there's there's some men some contention on the color accuracy of his overalls, and they have addressed right. this issue. Wow. And there were <laughs> and in the next update that, he that's... will have both options wow. the original that was in the game and a greener more film accurate version uh-huh. of the nothing overhaul. but the most riveting news stream people breakneck <laughs> speeds hey, from blue to green this has been a hot topic uh-huh. of conversation in the uh friday the 13th game community yeah L- little uh, little side note little little david information Play it on me. Oh, wow. Um, wow when you were when you were talking about those uh those perks uh huh and you were like colorblind people. You know that I'm partially colorblind. Really? Yeah. I can't differentiate from some purples and blues. Looks just the same to me. I mean, that, that's pretty clear. Blake's taunting him right now. Oh, oh man. it's the same color. Oh, my hair, what color is it? Is it blue? Oh, what a stupid ass. I dyed my hair. Yeah, looks good. It's purple and pink now. Yeah. Mm, some, top, some parts of the top do still look blue to me, though. You look bitch <laughs> you're colorblind what does your opinion matter yeah just a little little information mm. yeah on top of the most riveting <laughs> interesting yeah wonderful news story of the week overall's going from blue to green my eyes not working you know it's pretty, <laughs> pretty interesting so you know what's pretty interesting what? not as interesting as legendary perks what the kingdom hearts orchestra world yeah. tour encore was yeah. announced so the kingdom hearts orchestra world tour facebook page was announced has announced a new tour for later this my pen year. died no oh, it's back oh, yay okay. um the first ever official orchestra concert tour was in 2017 for kingdom hearts yep uh colby and i attended one in mm-hmm. new york yeah we did yeah i dozed off Blake might have fell asleep. <laughs> he might have fell asleep. I don't know how he fell asleep on a loud. I don't like, know. Dude, I don't. It's amazing. <laughs> it is something of a phenomenon that you were there and all you hear is. It was like a split. Did, so do they do they play the parts of the game the song is from on the screen? Because yeah. in the pictures oh, yeah. there was like yeah, the big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. It's an amazing show. I'm and going. It's like, I'm makes going. It, it makes you feel. Yep. Yeah. Was there? She nice. was like, "Hi, hell yeah, I'm Lisa." <laughs> oh my god, she knew. Yeah, that's her. Yep. And then she's like, she, she's wonderful. I'm going to this one in Boston. I got the tickets. You? Yeah. Oof. You going to? No. He didn't invite me. Nope. Wow. Didn't invite him. No, he didn't even invite me. Wow. He's like, I want to have a sweet night with my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> my good fiance. <laughs> my closet. You ain't doing your paperwork. So, this tour. Uh-huh. Will feature 18 stops in 18 cities, including 11 stops in the United States. Damn. Um, tickets will be available for pre-sale starting on March 4th. There he happened on Wild Ferry. It's like some French website. Yeah, it's a French website. Yeah. Um, at 12 p.m. local time for wow. some of the stops, while the rest of the of the stops will have public tickets starting on March 13th. Hey. Hell yeah! It's a couple days. Yeah. So here's the list of stops. Los Angeles, oh. California, uh-huh. June 9th. Sydney, Australia, uh-huh. <laughs> July 7th. What? <laughs> Chicago, Illinois, July 13th. Detroit, Michigan, July 14th. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, July 16th. Boston, Mass, July 19th. Toronto, Canada, July yeah. 21st. Mm-hmm. Atlanta, Georgia, mm-hmm. what? Mm-hmm. July 26th. <laughs> Dallas, Texas, July 28th. That's why I'm seeing Taylor Swift. Um, Philadelphia, <laughs> Pennsylvania, August 2nd. Phoenix, Arizona, August 4th. Las Vegas, Nevada, August 5th. Honolulu, Hawaii, August 12th. Hmm. Sao Paulo, Brazil, September 8th through 9th. <laughs> this is a uh-huh. 24-hour extravaganza. Damn. Oh, geez, yes. Um, Munich, Germany. Munich. Kazuntite. September 15th. Milan, Italy, Italy, for September 22nd, um, Saku, Saok, some place in South Korea, October 6th, 
<laughs> and Mexico City, Mexico, October 20th. They're ending it in Mexico? Yep. Nothing Damn. says Kingdom Hearts like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Damn! Oh, King Race is over here. Yeah, we're we're a little racist. There's not even like any Mexican representation in like Kingdom Hearts. Aladdin. (laughs) What (laughs) the fuck? (laughs) Anyways, Uh, don't you remember the best scene where he's like, "Arriba, arriba, arriba." Oh so, <laughs> there are plans to renew the tour for 2019 after Kingdom Hearts 3 uh, releases. Nice. Uh, you no, okay? Three. No. Oh um, my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would want to go to that one. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, I agree. it won't be in New York. Um, oh my god. So, here's me. some, according to website, here are some exclusive features yes, of please, the tell place. Me. So, composer... Yoko Shimomura in attendance. Select cities only. But which ones? Uh, they didn't say. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully Boston. She will appear on stage and 100 VIP tickets are available for each show <laughs> to meet and greet with her after the performance, one signature and photo per person. Ooh. She will appear for a limited number of shows due to a busy schedule. Hmm. So here's some exclusive merchandising lineup. So the tour features an exclusive line of products that are only available for sale at each performance. Yep. Okay. Four items. A 48-page concert program that will be available featuring the first ever cross-interview between director Nomura and and composer Yoko Shimomura Along with many music notes and illustrations, you I own this. Yeah, yeah I read cool. it. It's beautiful. While he was sleeping. No, I read it <laughs> before the show, and it was. It's, the interview is very uh, interesting. The, the entire interview is essentially Nomura being like, "Yeah, I let her do her own thing, and she showed up, and I was like, yeah, it's good,' or no, it's not, and then she just came back." Like, <laughs> Classic. That's, it. that's pretty Tetsuya much what he. Nomura. Yeah, that's the process. Huh. Interesting. So, an official T-shirt with an a, original illustration of Sora's chief conductor Keyblade. I also own this. Cool. It's very comfy. Nice. I recommend the shirt. Was it like um, ninety dollars? I don't remember. <laughs> right. I think it was like thirty. 30. All right, yeah. Jinx! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, cool. Yeah. Uh, a Keyblade conductor baton with a stand in a deluxe box. What? That's I did very not. Nice. I did not get this. No, hmm. that's probably like seventy around. Yeah, it, it yeah. was stupid. Um, an elegant pouch and <laughs> cool. a leather case. <laughs> Card holder, Ooh. not like Christmas card, but like credit card. That's on the CD. Ooh. And this has its own different bullet point. Oh, okay. Special edition CD. Yeah. Twelve pieces from the concert have been recorded in their unique concerts arranged version for a special edition CD with a gold embossed package. That's cool. That's cool. You own this. Yes, that is amazing. It is it's worth. Oh. It is so worth. Although, um, just let him borrow it, huh? <laughs> Put it on iTunes. Or Shut up! <laughs> you must buy it yourself. It's so good. It's amazing. Yeah. It's actually, it's just like stunning music. You'd actually find the full thing on YouTube, but like whatever. All right, all right. All right. All right. Yeah. Find everything on YouTube. Well, yeah, that's true. I'm I've... excited. I'm very excited to go. Do you think you're gonna have a good time? Yeah. yeah. What? No, um, no, 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 was a dumb no. question. <laughs> what? I'll wait till I next wanna year. I want to hear it. Wait till next year. They, uh... <laughs> Don't wait. I nope. won't remember. No, too late. I won't. Say it. I can't do it. You racist. <laughs> no, how am I supposed to feel? It is a <laughs> Listen, that's a banger they, and you know it. They wouldn't let us choose our seats. Um, what? it was just like you sit there, and you over yeah. there. It was either section one or section two. Section one's close to the stage, two's farther away, and they just put you in the best available seat. Oh, so okay. I'm hoping since I bought them early, to, um, I bought Section One tickets early, so they'll just be like, "You're up front." Yeah, so that'd be cool. You can feel them sweat on you. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> so what was your question? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I said a year. I forgot. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. What's next? What's you next? Know what on the I'm agenda? not worrying about. I'm not what? afraid. Overwatch's 27th hero. Hell yeah, Bridget. Lynn Holm. <laughs> I, I don't know. David, how to, yeah. would you like to read the deets? Uh, sure. 
I don't know how to actually pronounce her name because I just say Bridget too. But in the trailer, they were like Brigitte. I was yeah, like, okay. Oui, oui. I was like, oh, right, oh, it's Bridget. She's Swiss. That's Swiss. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah Bridget. Oh, I like cheese with the holes. <laughs> Baguette. <laughs> it's my lands in Mexico. Welcome, welcome to the most like culturally inappropriate <laughs> podcast for James. Oh, unless it's the uh, oh, oh, it is Aladdin. How are you doing? <laughs> eh, I am okay. <laughs> <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Like, uh, uh, all right, read the details uh, on this god. new Overwatch character. Right, yeah. Oh god, twenty seventh here. Yeah, Bridget Lindholm. Uh, Bridget is currently available to test on the PTR Ooh. as of today, which was earlier in the week. Yeah. Um, she's a support, so another support character. Yeah, she's a uh, tank support. If you <clears throat> yeah, but she's in the support category. Yes. Yes. Um, her ultimate ability is a move called Rally that both quickens Bridget's pace and grants armor for those around it's her. Bridget! <laughs> <laughs> Bridget! Not, not a, not. Um, here's the official breakdown of her abilities Ooh. via Blizzard. Yeah. Rocket Flail. Yep. Bridget's melee weapon has an extended range, enabling her to strike multiple enemies with a single swing. Yep. So a buff. Buff to her uh, normal attack. Yep. Okay. So it's a melee kind of like Reinhardt's only more range. Yes. Less damage. Uh, repair pack. Bridget throws a repair pack that can heal an ally. Any healing over the eye's maximum health provides them with armor instead to a cap of 150 armor. Okay. Uh, whip shot. Bridget throws her flail a long distance, dealing damage and knocking an enemy away from her. Barrier shield. Bridget deploys a frontal energy barrier to absorb a limited amount of damage, which is it's kind of like Reinhardt. It's so very we, limited. Yeah, the shield yeah. Is only covers her and it's 600 health. Yes. So. Um, shield bash. Once her barrier shield is deployed, Bridget can dash forward and stun her enemy with her shield. Inspire, when Bridget hits enemies with her flail, she also heals nearby allies over time. Wow, I didn't know that. And Rally, oh. rally which is her ultimate. Yeah, ultimate. She moves fast and provides yeah. all nearby allies with armor that lasts until it's removed by damage. And that's up to a max of 150 to everyone around her, too. Yeah, she seems so, so much fun. I really want yeah, to play her. she seems really fun. Um, People are saying already that her plus Torbjorn plus Symmetra is just like, oh. you can get someone to a bonus of 325 extra health. Wow. With the Whoa. shield generator, the armor pack, and her armor. That's ridiculous. Yep. That's insane. Yep. And the armor gives damage reduction anyway. So Yeah, it does. Um, gives that to a Reinhardt? That's crazy. The one thing I was kind of surprised about was she only has 250 health. Which is, like, Reaper has more than that. She probably just heals a lot. I wonder if she, she can does. put the pack on herself. She can't. It's a targeted heal, like, some, like a ah, Zenyatta's heal. Okay. So... She can't do it to herself, but yeah, every time she hits, she heals. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty excited to play her. Yeah. I, I've been trying to get back into Overwatch, and I'm just, I'm just really bad at it right now. <laughs> I, I've been playing a little bit. I've been getting my like weekly loot boxes yeah. and all that stuff. Um, It's fun. I like it. I still like the game. It hasn't really changed much. They added a competitive capture the flag, which is interesting. I finally played on Blizzard Land. I haven't played it on it yet. Yeah, only once, and we didn't we didn't get very far because it was the random Oh. Like champ thing but it was funny I was playing with Sarah and I was like oh look at this and this and that and she's uh-huh. like I'm, I'm really jealous of you because I don't know what any of this means and I'm like <laughs> oh the probes for you know like uh-huh. just like oh man that's the Protoss stuff over there yep. and you know do they reference every, is there like there's a Hearthstone Tavern there's yeah there's the uh... Snacksaramis which is the oh, snack yeah. bar yep. uh, there's like a big Ferris wheel that has to do with like the Protoss I think or something or I don't know something so the Starcraft one Starcraft or something yeah then there's probably like a World of Warcraft thing a Diablo thing oh yeah you start it's, it looks the area I was in was mostly World of Warcraft we couldn't really get past that yeah so I that's cool I want to play on it mm-hmm. what's next Blake so that was the other week yes yeah. let's talk about this past week okay lots of news yeah lots of news yeah what's the first news story of this week Activision has confirmed Call of Duty Black Ops, I, 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 I. Four eyes. Is coming from Treyarch this cool. year. Activision said that developer Treyarch will hold a special event on May 17th to reveal the game. I guess, you know, gameplay and blah, blah, blah. It's Call of Duty. We know what it plays um, like. It launches worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on October 12th. Why mm-hmm. is the logo... <laughs> Yeah. Four eyes. Uh huh. I think it's supposed to be like a looks looks supposed to look like a like a emblem I, thingy, like shape wise. It's supposed to be ivy. 
for Roman numerals, yeah, it's yeah, supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. That's why. So, yeah, that's why. I, yeah, I think, oh, I think yeah, Blake's right. It's supposed to look like a badge. Like an emblem. Yeah, like yeah. A, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It's still stupid. I mean, yeah, it's a little weird. It's, this is like a clear <laughs> attempt of just like, listen, nothing else we're doing is working for Call of Duty. Just do Black Ops. People love Black Ops. Yeah. I That's mean, Black who... Ops and Modern Warfare or Advanced Warfare, yeah. like, switch off. Yeah. But Black Ops always seems to be the one that, like, people are like, hey, this one's actually kind of cool. What happened to World War Two? That happened, right? Yeah, that was the thing. right? That happened. Yeah, that came out. The World War Two Call of Duty. Yeah, that was the last one. That was last year. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. what happened with it? Was it good? Was it bad? People seem to like it. Oh. It's just, yeah, it came out, right? Yeah, yeah that that came came, out. I'm pretty sure Ca- it came Call out. of Duty games, this happens every single year. Call of Duty games, like, it comes out, people are like, oh, I'm a new Call of Duty, and everyone plays it, and then, like, a month later, they're like, oh, it's the same game. And they just yeah, it came out in, like, November, December, yeah. or October. Yeah, people liked it. Oh. Black Ops. <laughs> Isn't Black Ops, like, um, Cold War? No, I'm thinking. The, or- the original was, um... The original Vietnam. one was... Oh, yeah, it was yeah, Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Did they just like go forward in time? And there was like a thing where like, oh, I'm the killer. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Black Ops, it always Richard like, Nixon. It takes place in the every time it takes place in the past, but with future tech. That's oh, kind of okay. like the gimmick. I like that stuff. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. I liked World at War. Yeah. I mean, me too. Yeah. Great. I remember when I enjoyed Call of Duty, and then there was like a million of them, and I was like, all right, enough. <laughs> I can only get shot and shot once and die so many times. No, you're just not good. I'm not. Ooh. I'm horrible at Call of get Duty. Get good. You do. Nah. Right. Yo, my ratio. Uh huh. Trash. <laughs> World of War. I, check, I checked like uh, like last, sometime last year. I was like, <laughs> oh no, because uh, with backwards compatibility, the online for oh, World yeah. of War works on mm-hmm. the 360. Well, Xbox One. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> you tried. I just I don't get call of duty like I, I don't i can't function in those games like i play i'm like i'm gonna play the game i take like one step and i die and i'm like all right i'm oh. gonna play the game i take another step and i die i'm like all right that's yeah, good that's all zombies is cool i guess what zombies, zombies is cool. i mean yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm always a fan of like wave based me too games i do i do like that horde modes they're good horde modes are cool mm-hmm. cool speaking I will buy of it. hordes mm-hmm. um the next installment in uh Line waiting simulator. The division oh, yeah. mm-hmm. two was announced oh, oh. by Ubisoft. So a developer. Oh, it's being developed by Massive Entertainment and with support by Ubisoft, 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 Anisi, Red Storm, Reflections, Ubisoft, Virtual Chest. <laughs> Well, you're just Some... saying words <laughs> yeah. right now. I don't, even, I don't even know what's and, going on. And Ubisoft Shanghai. Okay, that, okay. all right. I got, got that one. one. So, it is using an updated version of the Snowdrop engine. Yep. That's all we know about it so far. Oh, okay. But in addition, Ooh. we're talking about the original division at the moment. Yes. We're going to go back in time. So, there is Xbox One X enhancements coming to the original division. Um, there will be two global events coming to the division. There, they will be adding a new type of achievement called shields to the division. Okay. And earning them will unlock special reward, re, special rewards in the division two uh, when it launches. And there will be more info at E three. Wow. Probably at their presser. <gasps> Probably. So this Just is lose one, your breath. <laughs> the division's one of those games where I'm always surprised at how popular it is. Like you That's, wouldn't believe how many like concurrent players this game. I has wouldn't all the time. believe it. It's it's a lot. It's because well they came out with that new mode that like people love. Yeah, where it's it's another battle royale kind of mode, mm-hmm. uh, but with the division. My most popular mo- game mode of all. <laughs> yes, at least these right now. Days. It's yeah. the flavor of the week. Yeah. It is. First come mobas, mm-hmm. and then come battle royale. What's next? Now you can get Fortnite on your phone. Can really? You really? Oh uh, yeah. I, that I, that was on the cutting room floor. Oh, but yeah, yeah, that was announced. Fortnite, Fortnite is your phone. Fortnite took off. Yeah, it's a like, fucking phenomenon. I want to. I want to play it. Just There's I've never a Facebook fun. page called Fortnite Memes. Yeah. that's when you know it's big. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a fun game. Like at first, it was like PUBG and Fortnite were kind of like neck and neck. Mm-hmm. Now Fortnite is just like, <laughs> yeah, it's like taking it's free, off, taking over. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's it's not even called Fortnite Battle Royale anymore. It's just called Fortnite. Oh really? Yeah, they took out the Battle Royale tag. I wonder why. I don't know. Because there's jetpacks now. Is there? Damn, a battle royale with jetpacks. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, it, it took off. It, it's I played it like one time. 
Yeah, I Blake, play you played it too. I play it a few times. Yeah. I have it downloaded. Right. Um, so it's, it's time for uh, cool. KTX. When I go on Xbox, oh. nothing but <laughs> fucking Fortnite. I'm yeah. like, well, yeah. I like Friday the 13th, guys. <laughs> oh, Fortnite! <laughs> it, honestly, like, it's fun, but like... we drop it, boys? I don't, I don't see the hype. <laughs> I, like, it's cool. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You build stuff, and then you shoot guys. And then you die. In I still don't understand minute. where the building part comes in. Just because I don't... Well, I've never seen like, you have an play. axe. Yeah. So, so you know, you know <laughs> you in PUBG, build shit. you know in PUBG, all that time that you spend not seeing anyone. Yeah. In Fortnite, that's the same. Only you build stuff off waiting. But then you have to like keep moving. Yeah. yeah so why do you build stuff? Oh. You you run to the center and then yeah. just build. Oh. Or you can yeah. you can build a fort. You can build a staircase a <laughs> to heaven. Yeah. Or you can deconstruct things that are already built. Yeah. Like uh, a lot of people materials. do like the, the trap door thing. They'll build like a tower and then put like a fake door. Like floorboard, Real so like then they'll wait for someone to run up it. Then they'll like make it that the floor fall out and someone falls and dies and they get the kill. That's like, awesome. You know things like that. It's, I like that. Cool. That's creative. Yeah, I think it's okay. Some yeah. Looney Tunes ass shit. Yeah. I, I'm just it's I'm right. just not into those kinds of games. I'm not really either. Not my biggest thing. I'll play in like a, it's like a kick, right? I'll just yeah. be like, all right, I kind yeah. of feel it right now, and then done. But there's so many people who just play that nonstop, religiously, and they're good at it. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's true they are. But yeah, I, it's okay. Right. Fortnite. One day they'll yeah. be like, maybe we should charge for this. <laughs> do, do they have microtransactions? I don't think so. uh, You're I kidding me. Don't think it's, so either. How do it's they free? make? How do they make money? I have no Twitch. idea. Twitch. Oh, do, God. it's insane. How many people just advertise that game? It's nonsense. There, there has to be some sort of microtransaction. In I, that game. I know. I know. In PUBG, there's cosmetics. Yeah, I, don't I mean, at least when I played, I mean, like this is when it first came out on <laughs> mm-hmm. Xbox. There, I, there wasn't any. There I, has I'm to be sure there's probably cos. I know there are there are costumes. But yeah, yeah, you just look, you just talk. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, I'm looking up right now. Okay, oh, Fortnite. Fortnite. No, <laughs> Fortnite no I got a fucking shit transactions. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, let's get through that news. <laughs> I know we're about to hit the Nintendo Direct. Oh <laughs> God! <laughs> Apparently, it does microtransactions perfectly. Ooh. Yeah, okay, um, sure. No, no, no. According to yeah. Games Radar. Okay, lay it on. Oh, come on, Radar. radar. Uh, hold on, I'm reading another Game article. Sonar. <laughs> we call it Mr. Coffee. Uh, you can buy Space V-Bucks. Ball. The fuck uh, you call me? What? <laughs> the smallest amount of V-Bucks you can buy is 1000 for $10. Uh-huh. Um, or you can get a pass, I gives you like... rewards, character skins, and ex- character skins, XP bonuses. Yeah. Oh. Um... I feel like V-Bucks is em- a term used by pimps for their <laughs> girls. Yeah. Emotes, backpacks, hey skydiving trails. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a bunch of cosmetic stuff. Skydiving trails? I yeah. feel like that'd be a disadvantage because people know where you're dropping. No, right? Probably yeah. emotes. I yeah, emotes you can buy them too. a bunch yeah. of emotes. Yep. So yeah, I guess. Praise the sun. I saw like a like a, a Twitter video of like I'm in like in a circle mm-hmm. with like rap music playing and they all go and like one goes in a circle each time and does like a like a Oh, like a dance, on, man. freaking emote, <laughs> and it's like yeah, yeah. It's like oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Millennials. For- Fortnite. We're millennials. The, I know. The Fortnite community is like the new Minecraft community, where it seems like all they're all twelve year olds playing. That that's how it seems to me. Like a lot of mm. young kids playing it. I know nothing about Fortnite. Yeah. I'm about the big fan base or anything. I'm so lost. I just yeah, see memes with like Donald Trump or you can roll the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Patrick meme going around? You know, it's just yeah, dressed up as Donald Trump. Yeah, whatever. Did you see the it being posted on the SpongeBob Facebook page? I was like, our lawyers won't let us make memes out of this, but here it is, anyways. Wow. Oh damn. Good for them. Yep. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's go. Keep I'm gonna fucking shit my pants. Let's yep, get go. into it. The yep. Nintendo Direct. <gasps> yeah. Nintendo. From March eighth. 2018. That's yesterday. It was yesterday, it was. yeah. So I cut some of the fluff out. Thank you. Like okay, yeah. Little Nightmares for Switch. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a horror game. It's and pretty popular, actually. And then the, the, <laughs> Sushi? the, the Armadillo guy on 3DS. You mean, um, I don't give a fuck. Dylan? Oh, Dylan. No, was yeah, it Dylan? Dylan, yeah. <laughs> well, Dylan, Dylan Rolling Knight. Western. Yeah. Now, he's, now there's furries in the game. Yep. I don't understand. Anyways. So they're like, here's some, here's some 3DS titles. It's like, thank you, Koizumi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Son. Right. So, first announced WarioWare Gold. Yeah. So, a new Wario game. Yeah. WarioWare game for 3DS. So, 300 fast paced micro games that can be controlled by pressing buttons. 
Tilting the system, tapping the touchscreen, or using the microphone is the biggest entry in the series. For the first time, the game includes fully voiced characters. Nice. And it launches on August 3rd. What Hell day yeah. is August 3rd, boys? I don't know. Kobe? <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> What day is August 3rd? August 3rd? Duh. We all know what day August 3rd is. Oh, my don't birthday, you fucking asshole. <laughs> That's oh, the answer. No. That's the answer. <laughs> I thought you were like, what day it no, was. I don't give a shit about what day it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, have you guys played WarioWare before? Yes, I love it. I um, I have the uh, the Game Boy Advance version on my 3DS. Ooh, nice. It's fun. It is fun. It, it, yeah. I like it. It's cool. I, I enjoy playing it. It's hectic. You're like, Aah. yeah. It's like, do this now, do this now, yeah. do this. Good party game. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> wow, we're good concert boys. We're really good at this. So, in a surprising announcement. Yeah. Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Junior's Journey. Have so, you ever played this one? Rest in peace. Without the Bowser Junior. Pow- pa- rest in peace, <laughs> partners in time. Yeah, oh yeah. That damn. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those babies. Yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, they're not good enough for a remake. No, nope, not at all. So this is a remake of Mario & Luigi's Bowser's Inside Story for yeah. DS. It features new graphics and a new mode that tells the behind-the-scenes story of Bowser Jr. Launches in 2019. Mm-hmm. So this is cool. Um, the final boss on uh, mm-hmm. music for uh, Bowser, uh, Bowser's Inside Story, Yeah. Um, Shimamura did the uh, music, Whoa. and it sounds... Sounds like a Kingdom Hearts song. Oh, really? it's, it's really good. It's just like it sounds like a fucking like Marluxia ass Final Boss <laughs> ass music. I've never played the original. Dun, 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 Me either. Dun, dun, I hear it's very good though. Oh. I hear it's the best one. Damn. All right. Oh really? Yeah. I hear good things. Bowser's oh, Inside Story. Very the good. setting wasn't really interesting to me. That's why I didn't oh, you really control feel excited. Both Bowser and Mario Nawaja <laughs> go through his bowels <laughs> and his rectum. Damn. All right. I'm down. Sold. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm fucking sold on? What? Luigi's Mansion remake for 3DS. That's oh, pretty, yeah. pretty Let's good. Let's fucking go! Yeah. Did you ever play the second one? I 100%ed it. Oh, nice. Damn. It's not as good. Yeah. Wow. I was saying earlier, Luigi's Mansion is one of those titles where like everyone played the first one, no one played the second one. Um, Dark Moon is good, but like it missed the mark. Uh, it's like Luigi. Right. Oh, here we go. Luigi's Mansion <laughs> One uh-huh. had so much personality with the different kinds of ghosts, mm-hmm. and like like all the like the portrait ghosts. They had their own like they're all like different characters and yeah, had yeah. their own like, personalities and they were cool. Mm-hmm. And then Luigi's Mansion's Dark Moon, they're all there's like five types of enemies mm. and sometimes they're different colors oh, wow. and Lame. it's like oh my fucking god wait, wait. And, and it's like there's like missions i i mean i understand because it's on 3ds but like yeah, i guess <sighs> are you in a mansion but i don't know why 100 there's like five mansions there's like little, little 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 micro mansions why does he have oh. so many mansions oh well, they're not his oh you get hired to go yeah, well egad was like help me luigi and he like fucking transmuted him through the tev and he's like what the fuck i'm sleeping <laughs> and gad was like gobble gobble he's like <laughs> all right yeah and he just he just busted busted makes him feel good what are you talking about the ghostbuster song that's uh... what it says <laughs> that's a line from the ghostbuster song <laughs> ghostbusters <laughs> We tried. We tried. We tried. You, you well, you couldn't get through it. Well, what I don't happened? Know I, have it. Well, I, think I, I think I had to leave or something. Yeah, I think th- th- there was. It wasn't like we disliked Thanks, it. Amy. I remember. I think we got like seven minutes in or something. I think she was there. Probably yeah. wasn't, but whatever. I think she was there. <laughs> Maybe she was. That's when she gave me the fucking Sim- uh, Simpson, the SpongeBob. Uh... Oh, eight, uh, eight ball, magic eight yeah. ball. You have a way better memory than me. Anyway. Huh. Watch Personal stuff. It was like New Year's 2008. <laughs> Is that when we danced in my basement? I don't know. We danced a, a lot. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, we danced a, a, Bleed and I danced a lot for a while. Really? To the Grease yeah. uh, mix? Yeah. Yep. And, oh, and Pan did the disco first album. Yeah. I'm learning so much. You don't mm. want to learn. <laughs> so, snap, snap your toes. Um, yeah, this is cool. Um, it, the remake has an updated look with new features. Like a map that displays the bottom screen. Ooh, like Ooh. A D- every DS game. Ooh. And in a boss rush mode. That's pretty cool. That's like the best feature of every DS game is the maps on the bottom yeah. screen. You don't have to keep opening the map. Launches in 2018. Cool. Yay. Um, if, like, if there was a gun to my head, 
And me and Moto was like, you got to pick, Blake. <laughs> and he was like, do you want... You must become the Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> the threat of the Black Panther will be... Mr. Stop! Will. What is Holy happening? Holy shit! <laughs> Stop this right now. I will not stand for this. Yo, I got shit so bad. So anyways, what's the happening? Let's fucking get into it, boys. <laughs> So if me and Mauro had a gun to my head and he was like, yo, do you want Luigi's Mansion remake for 3DS or do you want a new one for Switch oh, that isn't like Dark Moon? I'd uh-huh. be like, yo, give me that Switch version. Yeah. Cause. Yeah. And he was like, here's yeah. it for 3DS. Uh-huh. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Hopefully Why this leads you... to, shut up, <laughs> this leads to a new Luigi's Mansion on Switch, like yeah. a good nah. Luigi's Mansion. When yeah. he's on a yacht, that'd be cool. Luigi's yacht. Oh, yo, that'd be crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's, Dude, that'd that's be a cool. cool setting. Like a ghost ship? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> but like a yacht. Yeah. Bang him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a little small. Y- yachts are he- yachts are bigger Luigi than mansions, Luigi ain't that rich. He won a he- mansion. Yeah, you just win a yacht. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario. Mario. So, pretty impressive... 3DS lineup. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Let's move on to the Switch. Yeah. No. So. Or the death of the Wii U, as I like to call. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. So Kirby Star Allies comes out next week. Yes. Um. So it released a little, little cool and itty bitty information. So fun fact. Yep. Um. They released a demo. It got data mined. Oh. And all this information was already known, <laughs> yes. including stuff they didn't even talk about. Like awesome. The final boss, wow. all the text in the game, uh-huh. blah, blah, blah. Yep. And this is, Nintendo's like, this is why we don't fucking do demos. <laughs> fucking yeah, I wouldn't either yeah. if I was fucking Nintendo. Like, I know. They keep putting out, like, every time a new Pokemon game comes out, mm-hmm. they put out a demo. It gets, gets data mined. Every, yeah. every yeah. Pokemon gets shown. Yep. All mm-hmm. their shinies. Yep. It's, I'd be I done. Bad. I'd be like, nah, forget it. You guys are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why a lot of companies don't do PC versions too. Yeah. yeah. As players make their way through their the robust <laughs> adventure, they will reach dream palaces where fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's dream friends. Yeah. Yeah. I can name such all these as. Guys. Oh. I, re- I actually remember all of them. Um, from... we're not there yet. Oh, okay. Um, such as King DDD. Yep. Meta Knight and. Bandana Waddle D. So basically, the cast of Return to Dreamland. I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, yep. Return to Dreamland. That's cool. But more Dream Friends will be added oh. to the game through free updates. So cool. Cool, yeah. Cool, that's free updates. Very cool. On the first update hits March 28th and adds classic characters Marks, Gooey, and character set Rick and Keen and Koo to the game. Rick. Launches on <laughs> March 16th. Who's and, Rick? Um, It's one of those. I, I named all the people in that picture. Yeah, um, the picture basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Kirby Adventure and yeah. the one for Game Boy and Kirby Superstar. Yeah, and... I remember the hamster, the fish, and the bird yeah. very well. This is the dope on the right. <laughs> Looks like a fucking slime. He's like, I can't read. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> um, launches next week, mm-hmm. and a free demo is currently on the eShop if cool. you want to data mine it. Oh, so, I will. <laughs> so, I'm not there yet. Yep. Don't look at the picture. I, I Spoilers. Picture. So, next up. <laughs> Okami HD yeah. coming to the Switch. Hell yeah. I was like, each passing day, I was like, I regret getting the PS4 version that oh. I would never play until like three years from now. <laughs> but I was like, I have faith. The Switch version will come. And it came. It did. On my face. Like the Pariah. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> um, Like Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, you can use the touchscreen in handheld mode or the Joy-Con motion controls in TV or tabletop mode to control the celestial brush to defeat enemies and solve puzzles. It launches this summer. I beat the Wii version. Yep. Where you go like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fun. It's it is great. very fun, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's my roomie's one of her favorite games. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's one of my favorite games, too. Just, I originally played on PS2. So mm-hmm. Pretty great. Where you have to use the control stick. Yeah, but I was fine with it. Uh, Kami. Fantastic game. Yes. I will pick this up eventually. Cool. I would, awesome. I would get it. Would if I had you a get it? <laughs> is no. this one of the Switch titles no. you'd get? No. No. I, my roommate has a no. PS4. So no. if you ever want to play it, yeah, I guess you're. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's on mobile. Yeah. That's that's true. Yeah. It's portable. 
Yeah. yeah Portable Okami. I know, that's the, that's, that's like the tagline. <laughs> that's like the the draw to all these games. Yeah. Portable. portable. Yep. So good. I know. So. I like forget that the Switch is portable sometimes. I never remember. And I'm like, oh, I it's need It's the one. only way people play is portable. Yeah. I mostly have a docked. Bitch. So. <laughs> um, Octopath Traveler. Got some more yeah. news. So the mm-hmm. final game name is Octopath Traveler. Yeah. So, so it's no longer Project Octopath oh, Traveler. Wow. It's now wow, yeah. Octopath Traveler. Still bad. Um, <laughs> no, it's Japanese. So um, two more main characters were announced. Teresa the Merchant and yep. Aflin the <laughs> Apothecary. 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 Kazuntite. <laughs> um, you can equip multiple jobs per character for use in battle. Yep. Um, Launches on July 13th. Okay. Um, there will be a Octopath Traveler Wayfarer's Edition, a special edition bundle that launches on the same day. Ooh. It includes yes. a stylized pop-up book, so mm. cool, a yeah, helpful cool. cloth map, mm-hmm. the Octopath Traveler sound selection CD, mm-hmm. and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. Mm. That's cool. The book, yeah. apparently, the pop-up book, shows off like all eight of the characters, I believe. Ooh. Yeah. So, which is awesome. That's, that's, the that's so part. interesting to me. That's yeah. a really good theme. Uh, themed uh, pre-order bonus. In, in the picture I saw, bonus. like the books open, like the pop-up is like stylized, like the game graphics, mm-hmm. and like it has like the settings, like of inside the yeah. bar. Was it? Yeah, that's cool. cool, man. I'm I'm definitely gonna pick up that game. It has when potential. I get my Switch it has potential. So and apparently now you can like combine different jobs together yeah. to form like new different combinations of attacks and stuff. You Snapchatting over there? No, huh? you Snapchat, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, it looks cool. Game looks cool. Yeah. Um, if I had a Switch, I'd play it. Don't have a Switch, so probably won't play it. But what if it's been data mined yet? There's a demo out there. <laughs> well, I mean, that was, you know, it wasn't like the full game. Or yeah. Something. It was like the play it and then give us feedback so we can make a better better game. Blake, was this game data mined? Are you hold, withholding information from us? Um, you working for Nintendo? <laughs> you heard my Miyamoto impression. They'd kill me. <laughs> it's true. They probably would. It's like, I'm not Indian. So. <laughs> Travis strikes again. No yeah. more heroes. Mm-hmm. The yep. gameplay was finally shown, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, same." <laughs> so, yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so when Travis Touchdown wanders into the game world, he goes on a rampage of epic proportions. So the title includes a total of seven game titles, including an action game, a racing game, a puzzle game, plus four others. Um, by using another Joy-Con controller, two players can team up for co-op multiplayer action. Launches this year. Um. I mean, at least they he saves by shitting, I guess. I mean, yeah. It just it looks so different. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how. I'll have to see more. Yeah. But, like, maybe that's just the action game? Maybe. Because he was like, yeah. you know? Maybe, they, maybe all the know. games play different. I mean, I Which assume would be we'll, an interesting. Uh, they probably do. Shut up. <laughs> just I don't know if they'll play well. <laughs> well, they said it was like, yeah, puzzle game racing game whatnot so i imagine yeah. they play differently yeah i mean they have mechanics like that in the actual game i don't know about puzzle but they have him on his motorcycle right that's yeah, like yeah, a big yeah. part yeah so oh. it's gonna I'm be weird a, i'm cautious mm-hmm. i was like hyped to like you know a, like a the yellow experience. you know that yellow triangle that's me right now I'm cautious I'm oh cautious. i see all right all right i feel you mm. i think it's gonna be good i mean it's it, don't expect to i don't think you know they didn't advertise as a full release game you know what i mean it's like Probably gonna be like forty bucks, like a side game kind of. Yeah, it's what it is. It's just, but it's not a spinoff. But I guess a spinoff. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. We'll have to see. I, mean, I don't know. Uh, uh, like, that. Huh? I mean, it's gonna be sixty dollars. It's gonna be six. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well. we'll have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. TBD. Yeah. yeah TBD. TBD. So you know what's not TBD? No. Dark Souls remastered. True. So, an amiibo figure. Based on Solaire, the mm-hmm. Astra the will be released. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Um, will be released on launch day. So by tapping the amiibo, the popular "Praise the Sun" gesture can be used with reckless abandon from the start of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, note that the gesture can be also obtained through regular gameplay. Yeah. Um, a free network test will allow players to. Download and play a part of Dark Souls Remaster before it launches to try out the gameplay and unique online features. More details about that will be revealed soon, and the game comes out May 25th. Cool. This is 
unexpected. Yeah. A Dark Souls amiibo. It's a, it's a little <laughs> unexpected, yeah. Um, see, I'm more curious, because how it works in Dark Souls is kind of boring. Like, uh-huh. you, all this amiibo does is make you do the gesture. I'm curious about how this amiibo works in other games. Mm. That's what I want to know. If you didn't make other characters do <laughs> yes, the gesture, that exactly. would be interesting. Put it, in, like, in Smash. <laughs> Put it down, he just, like, shows up. <laughs> Assist trophy. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's cool. Dark Souls on Switch. I mean, kind of an unexpected game. Yeah. I mean, we know about this, but yeah, we yeah. know about the Mabo. Yeah. The Mubo. <laughs> the Amabi. The Amabu. I mean, yeah, that's on PC. Cool. Yeah, it's cool. So, um, a big portion of this yes. direct, we're not we're not there yet. I don't yeah, have pictures right. for everything. Okay? Jeez. A big portion of this direct, mm-hmm. um, which is 34 minutes long. Yeah. Um, was to Mario Tennis Aces. Oh, yeah. And if true. you never knew anything about tennis, <sighs> I recommend you watch this segment because you will be enthralled with tennis lore, yeah. <laughs> tips, <laughs> tricks, etc. So I'm not going over that, but I will give you some little itty bitties. So um, you, yeah, you can play up with four local and online players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Um, Story mode has creative boss battles yeah um, oh yeah i saw some of the weird stuff yeah the game has intuitive and deep gameplay as uh they went over the gameplay actually looks pretty good oh you when know, i say deep looks, they're not kidding there's yeah. a lot of different styles of mm-hmm. like uh actually hitting and like trick shots and zone shots and yeah. zone now they just need to like rush bring all this to like a good mario baseball game i'm like okay. yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do like hyper combos yeah. yeah. You can break the racket. That's interesting. Yeah. You can KO them. Yeah. Like, trip, KO. Um, you, if it breaks three times. Like your fucking thing at the health bar. Yeah. That's cool. Um, the little, So you can have, you can do swing mode, which mm-hmm. is like motion controls. Um, Players can use their Joy-Con controllers like a tennis racket, swinging them to initiate the tennis swings in the game. Cool. Launches on June 22nd. All right. I mean, I played the original Mario Tennis a lot, so when I saw the trailer... For Nintendo Socks to 4. Yes, and I loved it. And when I saw this trailer where it's like, you can do all this, you can track where your ball goes, and your thing has health and can break, and you'll lose, and uh, you have a meter, and I was like, ooh. But then they are like, you can do simple mode. Yeah, you are for purists out there. All right, cool. For stupid heads. (laughs) I played a lot of Mario Power Tennis. Back in the day. I yeah. own your copy. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> I have custody. <laughs> I played that game a lot uh-huh. when I was younger. Um, don't know why, because like, I was bad at it. But yeah. There was just something really fun about it. Yeah, it's I fun. When I, when I was watching this trailer, it was like, um, one of the things you can do is called a zone shot, where you can aim where your your shot's going to go. Reminds me of like, the birth by sleep thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The shock lock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, have, like, you have a first person like reticule, and you yeah, can aim where you're going to hit it, and then you can just hit it in that spot. And then the other person can, like, use their meter, slow down time, and, like, run up to it and try and do it. So all I can imagine that games are going to be is both of those happening back and forth. It's like, I aim my well, shot. You have, like, I a meter. Slow, so yeah, you until, like until you run out of meter. But then you just do a trick shot and you gain meter back. Oh, no. So, like, <laughs> you just broke the meta yeah, that's of all this game. that's all it's going to be. I want aces for Evo. <laughs> aces for Evo. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I was watching. I was like, please let me turn this off. And I was like, you can. And I was like, great. Cool. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Um, it really does. Pretty impressed with it. So there will also be a Mario Tennis Aces pre-launch online tournament. Yeah. They're doing this with like every game, huh? More, more details will be revealed in the future, but a free Mario Tennis demo is coming soon. Cool. Um, for a limited time, players can try out online tournament matches in the game before it launches. To participate, download the pre-launch online tournament from the eShop. Sounds awesome. Cool. Yeah. You can do that now, right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, coming soon. Oh. Coming soon. Nice. Cool. You know what's really cool? Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Oh yeah, I forgot. From about this. the Wii U is coming to Switch. I yep. always wanted this game, and I was like, meh. I played the demo of it. You could play it the first level or two. I love. It was cool. Captain Toad. And uh-huh. I love the Captain Toad song, mm-hmm. <laughs> etc. Yeah. Um. I love Captain. But Toad. you've never played the game. No, I. I mean, I played. You know, Mario Galaxy. He's in there. Yeah, yeah. I played Odyssey. Played... He's in there too. Yeah. But you never played Captain Toad's game. I, I know. <laughs> I you know. 
forty dollars. No, no, I feel, you, I feel you. I understand. You know, it's like I feel those you. things don't mix. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, so this new version of the game includes new miniature courses based on various kingdoms in Super Mario Odyssey, which is cool. So more levels. Um, anyone can play with a friend or a family member. I don't know why they say that. Um, by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire. Yep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, it launches for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. Also, a Nintendo 3DS version will be releasing the same day and includes stereoscopic 3D visuals and touchscreen controls. Also, launches the same day. As I said, um, this is cool. Yeah. And Captain Toad will be in Smash Brothers. Do you know that for a fact? No. Oh, damn. But his gimmick is that he can't jump. He can't jump. That that's his gimmick in the game. Yeah. Like yeah, his yeah. backpack is too heavy and he can't <laughs> jump. Yeah. And that's gonna be his gimmick in Smash Brothers. That would actually be kind of funny. Yeah. He's gonna be like, Boop. you wanna know my favorite part about the Captain Toad part of this direct? Why not? When me? the guy was like, Captain Toad's in Mario Odyssey. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was just so <laughs> weird. It was like a silence after, like, okay. Reaction. <laughs> I like when he like. They were talking about the levels, and he was on top of like the skyscraper. He was like, ah, "Yeah, set me free! I'm dying!" <laughs> new Donk City, yeah, new New Dank City. Mm. Mm-hmm. I love Captain Toad. He loves you. Oh, what's next, Blake? Undertale, yeah, is coming to the Switch eventually. Yeah, eventually, mm-hmm. I like the ad. Oh, turn out the lights! Yeah, I like the ad too. I it thought was it was just, cute. Yeah. yeah, a lot of character in it. Mm-hmm. Launch details will arrive at a later date. This is cool. This is a pretty big deal. Yeah. I wonder if they'll add anything just with like, because they have the ability to use like the Joy-Con stuff with it. So I wonder. Amiibos. Uh, like a Sans Amiibo. <laughs> is uh, oh, the PS4 cool. version just like a port? Yes. I believe so, yes. This No th- added content or anything? No. Nope. This, this will most likely be just a port. Yeah, yeah. Because no, I don't. Cool. I think, considering the community behind Undertale, I think they would be really mad if it got added to a, a, a Switch version, not the original PC version. Maybe. Yeah. Like they would get like up and arms. If they change their control scheme, I think they'd be mm. really mad. Yeah. If they change anything, they'd be really mad. Und- Undertale is one of those games where like I hear bad things about the fan base. Yeah. Oh, but, yes. like <laughs> Good things about the game. Yes. So I'm like, do I want to play this game? <laughs> I so, think. I think you know. The je- you know the the right answer like the true good ending answer is like fuck all those people yeah. Yeah. that's what you want to make of it mm-hmm. but there is something to be said for when you like are afraid to say I like this game because uh-huh. that'd be more just like you you annoying ass yep. uh, <laughs> homestuck loving <laughs> yes it's pretty much homestuck and Undertale have like the same fan base uh, if you know what homestuck is did you know Ness is Sans. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but that's just a theory. <laughs> Off air, I'm gonna tell you something that will blow your mind about uh, game theory and MatPat. Oh can't, God. I can't say it on air. All right, I'm just, I'm just gonna okay. Get ready for that. Okay, you're gonna be like, holy oh, bucket shit. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Undertale. Great. You're on my shirt. Oh, like he's like Voldemort <laughs> yeah. in his stomach, like. <laughs> the sorcerer's stone Undertale's a good game yeah good game cool GG cool. yep you know what else is a good game what? and something that I was like should I get it on PS4 what or wait what Crash Bandicoot in Insane Trilogy it's coming to Switch also Xbox One and PC cool Woo. on July 10th <clears throat> whoa cool whoa this was yeah. rumored yeah Alongside the Spyro trilogy, which yeah. is most likely going to happen. So much for that timed exclusive. It was out for too long. Well, you know, it's timed. It was like a couple yeah. months. Yeah. Yeah. It's it been like, longer. Like six months. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, has it been that long? Yeah. It I came out so. last year. Six months? Look up release date. Sure, sure. I think, it, I think it has been that long. Yeah, I it might be. Probably longer. Yeah. And this comes out in July, so maybe like eight months. I was noticing during this direct, most of these games are coming out in the summer. Uh, June t- June thirtieth. Yeah. Oh, so like a year. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, oh my god. Doesn't seem like it. No, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Maybe we were insane. You know what's insane? What? South Park, the fractured butthole. 
I mean, it was very amusing <laughs> to hear the Nintendo guy say, the fractured butthole. Or yeah. crazy dick. Cra- crazy dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, that game is coming to Switch, which yeah. is cool. That was uh, also rumored. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, all the games, add-on content will be available to purchase. And also, you know, the main games there, too. Yeah. Punches Ooh. on April 24th. Pretty pretty close. Pretty yeah. Soon. Bummer not, uh, didn't get Stick of Truth on there yet. No, not it's yet. Just, that, that's also rumored, so that might come out later. That's so know. strange. Yeah, that's that weird. I hope they get it, because yeah. that would be a bummer. Be like, oh, first time getting into it, and then realize you just got into a sequel. Yeah. And you do, like, after, you know, I beat Fractured Ball, <laughs> and it, there are, you know, there are stuff you don't really get from the first game. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it kind was of a like a like a Kingdom Hearts like recap kind of deal where like every game they're obligated to have like <laughs> the entire story in text form I for people that, that complain about the game. <laughs> doubt that. <laughs> yeah, there is, now that I think about it, Fraction Behold kind of has a lot of. It's stuff a du- from the first it is game. a direct sequel. Yeah, they're still playing the first game at the beginning of the second game. Yeah, <laughs> like it's and you're the king, and they talk about the stick of truth yeah. and stuff, and like there are characters that you meet, like your parents, yeah. the whole thing, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. Cool. I gotta poop. So almost done. Let's go. Hyrule Warriors mm-hmm. Definitive Edition mm-hmm. launches May eighth. Cool. May 8th. By eighth, I mean May eighteenth. There's an eight in oh, there. Okay. Cool. Yeah. People thought it'd come out sooner, and people like oh. eight. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> Twenty eighteen is the year of the octopus. <laughs> um. So are you in, are you guys? Arms fans? No. Arms? Oh. 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 No. Um. Well, there will be Arms U.S. and Canada online open tournament. Players who want to show off their arms skills. Yeah, I'll show off my arms. <coughs> will be able to enter the Arms U.S. and Canada online open tournament, which takes place in the Nintendo Switch's games ranked mode, ranked match mode. Now. Through March 18th, the eight top players in these preliminary rounds will have an opportunity to move on to the online finals on March 31st. The finals will be streamed live from Nintendo of America headquarters. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. Arms. So, there will also be an, another ARMS test punch. A new global test punch for the ARMS game will let Nintendo Switch owners try out select mode for free. Please. It'll be I running won't. for three days starting on March 31st. Play this game. Play ARMS, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> so. So yeah, they're like, right. you know how like uh, the format of the director was like, oh, headlines. Yes. Yeah. And we got to the end of the headline. Yeah. And I was like, Smash Buddies. And it was like, Splatoon. And I was like, oh, yep. fuck. Yep. So we're getting a major Splatoon Two update. Oh, so in oh. April, Splatoon Two is getting a major free update, version 3.0, that contains 100 new pieces of gear, more stages rolling out throughout the spring, Piranha Pit, Camp Triggerfish, and Wahoo World, <gasps> and a new rank, Wahoo. Rank X. Oh. Chemical X. So Rank X is an extreme rank, even higher than S plus. Damn. As Damn. you play Splatoon, you get you rise in rank. Mm-hmm. Yay. This is so this is like the master league of Splatoon. Yeah. The elite grandmasters. So they invited the tournament. That's not all. <laughs> in a very uh Splatoon esque like music video fucking Oh yeah. <laughs> that was the yeah. weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. We were we banging. were watching it and I was like <laughs> What is this advertising? <laughs> like, what is this? So, the first paid DLC is coming to Splatoon 2 this summer. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion adds a hefty new single player mode that lets players play as a new Agent 8. As new Agent 8 in Octoling. Oh. Which is the prime enemy <gasps> in uh, the Splatoon series. Whoa. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. In the uh, original Splatoon, it was data mined, and there was like a uh, half like you could play as an Octoling, but it was like unfinished. Oh. Yeah. So like hmm. this has been in the the in the in the woodworks in the little the burner in the cook. Oh. You know, it was getting in cooking the, up in the cook. It was, it was sizzling. Cook. It was sizzling. <laughs> been right in that cook. No, right the fucking shit. <laughs> God. So, um, 
So this this actorling mm-hmm. has lost his or her memories. Um, is that her? It's a her. Well, I mean, probably. Tell me. Probably play either no, gender. They, they, they Tell were, me. They look were, at this picture. They were calling her a she. Tell me that she they like. The they weren't like. Well, there's a lot of rule thirty four Splatoon out here. <laughs> like, look at that. Agree with me. I'll never let you shit. Go on. At least not um, have any of it. The new single player campaign features 80 missions, as well as new stories that shed new light on beloved characters. What was 80 missions? Yeah. Players uh, uh. that complete the Octo expansion campaign will unlock the ability to play as Octolings in multi- multiplayer battles. While Splatoon 2 Octo expansion launches this summer, players can pre-purchase DLC starting today for $20. In Nintendo eShop to immediately receive Octo themed in game gear to use in battle right away. Damn. And before uh-huh. we move on, I'm going to shit. Alright, go. I'll talk about this. I want to talk. Just fucking go on. Edit that out. I just did in the toilet. Don't worry about I it. super smashed <laughs> poop. You were like, super smash! Uh, Brother. That, that did not happen. So, really? <laughs> Nintendo got through with the with the uh, Splatoon stuff. Yeah, and I was like, okay, that was that was a great direct. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, oh yeah, we have one more thing. And I was like, Nani! Oh. But there was like a minute left at this point uh, in the video in the direct. Well, they said it was thirty minutes long, yeah. and this is around like the thirty-two mark. Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. already they already pushing they it. They already pushed it. Yeah. yeah, it's like I got things to do, like yeah. nothing, mm-hmm. you know. And we we see a little inklings. Mm-hmm. And fun fact, um, in the original debut trailer of uh of uh, Smash Platoon, oh, mm-hmm. uh, th- basically it mirrored what the inklings were doing oh. in this trailer. Oh, okay. And then. It happened. The girl, squid lady. Looked up. She looked up. Uh-huh. She looked Well, hold on. Over. What? What? Are we forgetting that the entire, like, atmosphere around her faded to a bleak yeah. pitch black? Uh-huh. The other child she was shooting with the machine gun faded away. No, no, he, he came back. Did he? Yeah, yeah he came back. Uh, oh, yeah, they were both there in the end. An orange light. Mm. Bathing. <laughs> a sun. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't just a kind of sun. It had a line. It had two lines through it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Through the f- As if it was a logo. Through Lagartian iris reflected mm. in the squidling's gaze, <laughs> we see the burning embers of the Super Smash Brothers logo. Yeah. And then it, then it showed a uh, silhouetted Mario. Oh. And a silhouetted Link. Boy, mm-hmm. when it showed Breath of the Wild Link, yeah, I'm glad no one was home because I was like, <laughs> "Let's fucking go!" <laughs> do you think the Twilight Princess Link is finally dead? Do you think the reason I love Mario Twilight was Princess. A, was shaded out because it's gonna be like the Odyssey look? Or I mean, like an updated texture of Mario. You mean like Cappy? Like yeah, yeah, I think so. Don't spoil it. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Good. So, Super Smash Brothers. If you look at the logo. Did you, did you look at the logo? There we go. Um, I don't have. I didn't. I didn't put a con- uh, comparison yeah. image. Yeah. Yeah. But it is different. Is it both font wise and design wise? <laughs> hmm. Than the uh, Wii U 3DS version. The font does look different. Well, it is. Yeah. Um. Here's the question. Mm-hmm. Is this a port or is this a new Smash Brothers? It yeah. has to be a port. Kid, it's a port. It has to be a port. Kid, it's a port. Sakurai doesn't give a shit right now. He's dead. Sakurai <laughs> confirmed he's been working on this since the last DLC came out two years ago. Mm. I think it's an updated port. An enhanced port? I, yeah, it's the Street Fighter Alpha yeah. duo. Yeah. It, it's. Cause they're moving everything else from Wii U to Switch. They're going to be moving this one, too. But the logo's different. Yeah. You'd think it'd just be the same logo, but well, because Switch. Because it, mm-hmm. it was called Super Smash Wii U, wasn't it? 
Super Smash, Super Brothers, Smash Wii Brothers Wii U and Super Smash Brothers 3DS. Same logo, yeah. different color. So they can't call it that anymore. So they, they just made a new logo for the new name. Super Smash Brothers Switch. I guess, but but this is Super Smash Brothers. They want it working to be title. D- a definitive as edition. The press release said. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be a new game. I think it's a new game. I don't think it's gonna be a new game. Nah. <laughs> nah. I think it's Enha- a new game. enhanced That's... edition, enhanced port. Still <laughs> definitive edition. Definitive edition, yeah. if you will. Nope. All the amiibos are still gonna work. It's gonna be the same exact game. Everything's gonna They're be gonna... the same. It's going to be a new game. They're going to have an entire new line no. of Smash Brothers <laughs> Amiibo. You're nope. fucking everyone up. <laughs> nope. They're going to no have way. a new, like, you know, uh, main game thing. You know how, like, the Wii U had its, uh, you know, oh, 3DS of the Smash Run thing mm-hmm. or whatever and whatnot. The actual so. question is, is the new Link and Mario going to be new characters or skins? Skins. Think so? I think. Nope. They are brand new characters, Ooh. new movesets. Yo. Because... I think that's how, a possibility. How can Link have his hook shot? He doesn't have hook shot in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, and you know Mario Odyssey Mario could like mar- mind control he, people with the hat. Or he oh, can just throw his cap. Cappy yeah. and yeah. do that dive thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Twirl. Yeah. So, but then, uh, I guess it makes sense. But well, that's a lot of links. It is a lot of links. It's only two. Huh? It's not like Toon Link. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, and then add the third one. Like three links, a lot of links. Why would they normal link, tune link? Some, you said it was a brand and new character. Link, if it was a new character, right? No, no, it takes the place of Link. Oh, oh, like you know oh. how like Melee had Ocarina Link. Yeah, and Brawl and had you know Brawl and yeah, and mm-hmm. the new one had Twilight like, Princess. Yeah, you'll just get rid oh, of you think they're just gonna replace him? Oh. Yep, I like oh. Link though. And all the <laughs> attributes of Link you know and love are just tune link. Oh. I don't know. Uh, yeah. A don't well know. needed change. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait and see. There's a lot they could do with this. But listen, I believe I... when we're gonna get the full <laughs> blowout at E3, they're gonna be like, "It is new game hi and it's gonna be great. They'll probably say something at E3. But... No, this well, game. Or well, they don't even do this E3. This game's do not even gonna. Nintendo. Have you been, bro? Yeah, Nint- yeah, Nintendo yeah. always does E3. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. I don't know. We talked about we'll it last see. year. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. They, I don't think, I don't think they're always game. there. It's the just only, because they don't have a press conference. It's the only video yeah. that shows up when you look up Keep Tapping Nuts is our E3 <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah. That has been claimed. Has it we been? We make money on it? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. Our only video. Whatever. Of course, it's Nintendo related, so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be a new game. It's going to be a They port. don't even do E3. Get this amateur out of here. I don't think it's going to be a new game either. No. I believe. Lock it in. So, since this is a new game, mm-hmm. what new character will be revealed? Not not like next, but like for this new Smash. Coming out this year, by the way. Yeah, it is pretty soon. Most likely September, because that's when the online yeah. launches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what like, new character is going to be added so to you're, this game? Like, if they're going to add any more new characters, which ones are going to be? In and game? they will. Kratos. Yes. All right, Kratos. He's in. Uh, uh, I don't know. What other big Nintendo titles? Kratos. Arms people, bro, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess that's a good guess. Arms Spring girl. Man and Ribbon Girl. Yeah, yeah, Ribbon Girl, maybe they'll add. Yeah, I can see that. They I can, can see can them adding sense. Spring Man and then kind of like a Robin oh, kind of thing. A, yeah. Alternate thing. Yeah. Uh, What do you I think, Blake? I don't remember. Oh my god! I thought about <laughs> this. Don't remember earlier. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Um, do you think that the all the third party people are returning? Mm. I don't know enough about the game yet to determine that. Yeah, that all depends on copyright. Let's see. Yeah. Why not? Money talks, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, is already... cloud returning? Ooh, probably. He's in the public eye right now. Yeah. They probably, they probably would pay a lot to get him in. Returning. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, didn't yeah. they just have the um, Street, Street Fighter, Fighter on, yeah. on Switch? Yeah. Is it Bayonetta returning? Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, They're in, she's Nintendo now. Pac-Man. Mega Man. What else is he doing? Let's I'm be real. I'm not there yet. There's a lot of man saying this game. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man. I think yes. 
because in Little Nightmares there's a Pac Man hoodie for the yeah. Switch version alone. Uh, we're not talking about yeah. Little Nightmares. But they have that means they have rights. They carry. Yeah. Them. Oh, that no, that's a Bandai Namco game. So like that's why it's in that. Game. Oh, I guess. Um, is Mega Man returning? Maybe sure. he'll look like more like Mega Man Eleven, Ooh, a, little, a little taller. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> a little taller. Um, <laughs> Sonic. Yeah. 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 I, honestly, I think the one they'd have the hardest time with is Cloud. Yeah. Because yeah. Final Fantasy, Square Enix is Final very Fantasy Seven is like going to be it's going to have a new game, and yeah, Square yeah. Enix is a little picky. Mm. Great. Oh, I think King Great. K. Rule will finally. Oh, that'd be cool. Be in Smash. He got a little cool. stupid me costume. Yeah. Who fucking cares? That would be a really cool addition, actually. Let's see. Um, we uh, need more villains. Yeah. I'm drawing a blank on the RPG character. Help me out, please. Golden Sun. No, no, no! Super Mario or RPG? Oh, Smithy, Janos, Janos, thank you. Oh, Gino. He also Gino. Gino. Janos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saitama. Um, he he had a little me costume too. Yeah, yeah. It's like a fan favorite, and they never did anything with him. Nope. <laughs> he was. He was in a. He did a cameo in Superstar Saga. Yeah. And in the remake, they took him out. Wow. Because Square's like, no. <laughs> Damn. It's like, but he just shows up like for two seconds. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, rats. I miss Gino. He's cool. He's uh, game's mediocre. The game's amazing. Gino could do nine 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 damage to anything. I don't care. <laughs> so overall, tender direct was very good. Yeah, Spicy yeah. meatball. Yeah, I had a lot of stuff. What do you think? Guy who keeps looking at the time. I think barrels equal good job. barrels equal picture. We're not there not... yet. There's like two stories before that. <laughs> and the keyboard. Oh my god, really? Keyboard oh my equals. Gosh, like Nintendo TV. Direct was one story. Ugh. Damn. All right, we're running, we're running along. We're running along. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cool. Moving on. Don't rush me. So, Diablo 3 mm-hmm. is coming to the Switch according to Eurogamer sources. Cool. What's Diablo 3? Explain for the audience. It's the and third, half of me. the third game in the Diablo series. What's Diablo? It's a game by Blizzard where you kill a lot what of stuff. What kind of game is it? It's an, ar- it's an isom- isometric RPG. Yeah, uh, you can play as a bunch of classes, and you level and kill demons, and essentially it's a top-down to perspective. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like third person. You control your character, and it's it's essentially just like loot fest. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it's kill a million guys. Wait, you said, R- you said you said RPG Isometric. or RTS? RPG. RPG. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and it's fun. It's it's kind of like mindless in a mm-hmm. sense. It's literally just like there's a hundred dudes slaughter all of them. Kind of like I don't want to say Dynasty Warriors. S, there's, but... there's more depth than Dynasty yeah, Warriors. Yeah, it, you get a ton real. of skills, ton of talents, and mix and match everything. And yeah. So last week, Blizzard tweeted out an apparent tease for a Diablo game on Nintendo Switch. The image in question. Um, well, it was like more of a video. Mm-hmm. A Diablo Nightlight being repeatedly switched on and off. Huh. And people were like, I see you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> and then an official response emerged from within Blizzard. That was a weird phrase. Um, as of now, we do have, we do not have any current plans to announce Diablo for Switch. But Eurogamer was like, we have sources. Mm-hmm. Um, they have told us Yes. The project is very much in production, a port of Diablo 3. Um, Blizzard described the Twitter post as simply a fun engagement piece. And your gamer sources with knowledge of the project told them that they were surprised to see it, like the tweet, mm-hmm. um, as the game's reveal remains several months off. Huh. So they were like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they already have a console version for the game, so mm. it's fine. Mm-hmm. Portable. Yeah, portable. Mm-hmm. Lit. Would you buy it again if you had a Switch? I mean, I have it on PC. I didn't play the console one, so no. Touche to you. <laughs> In our I, last yeah. mm-hmm. news story of the day. A patent. Nintendo. Is this their patent? Is this picture Has filed a patent for Donkey Konga drums and keyboard for use with Nintendo Switch. And keyboard, huh? Do you guys know what the Donkey Conga drums are? Of course yeah. I know what the Donkey Conga <laughs> drums are. It's the best peripheral to ever mm-hmm. exist. I have not... The only time I played those games was like a demo unit mm-hmm. in like Walmart. Yeah, like, like a Walmart or Target <laughs> or something. 2005. Yep. But it was awesome. It's funny to see like, sp- the games that have been like speed run through these games with yeah. only the, the <laughs> yeah. Donkey Conga drums. Play Dark Souls with yeah. drums. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm... On August 28th, 2017, Nintendo 
company LTD filed the US filed in the US via the United States Patent and Trademark Office a patent application for an information processing system, extended input system, and information processing method. Damn. All right, the sure. The patent concerns extended input devices for use with Nintendo Switch. Examples are Donkey Kong drums and mm-hmm. keyboard, which is weird because you can just plug a USB keyboard into yeah. the Switch and it works. A little strange. People use that for Rocket League. Mm-hmm. They probably want like, their own um, special one. Yeah. The inventor is Hitoshi Ow. Yamazaki. Albert who has Einstein. 17 other patents with Nintendo, some Albert together Wesker. with Shigeru Miyamoto. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, this means Retro is you, is making a new Donkey Konga game. That's awesome. And that's, that's pretty sweet. Definitely not happening. It's no, you don't think so? All joke. No? Nope. Why not? Because they're definitely not making a new Donkey Konga. Man, but that'd be making so cool. Something. Also, I don't think Donkey Konga was that, like... It wasn't, really. No. Big at all. <laughs> nope, no. <laughs> But it's Nintendo. Things don't have to be big for them to do it. Well, they might have repatented it just so they could keep the rights to it. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. That's the true. keyboard is much more interesting yeah. in my regard. The Nintendo keyboard. Oh, yeah. yeah like Switch, you know, Switch specific keyboard maybe has a couple of special functionalities like press a button and automatically like go to the online store you yeah, know, something like cool. that. Uh-huh. That's something you did. You'd make some money off of. Yeah. I can see people wanting that. Yep. Yep. So, upcoming releases. Yep. Tell me. Lay it March on. 13th, the Devil May Cry HD collection for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Fun fact, the it's PC freeware. version mm-hmm. is poop. Oh, really? Oh, really? PC um, version's free as of right now. Maybe that's why. Uh, maybe. <laughs> um, There's like a video I saw with like the the frame rate went up to like... 300 something and uh-huh. everything's going super fast <laughs> oh <my geez. laughs> uh, oh yeah that does happen that's why you have to cap it if your computer's too good it'll run it too well and it'll just speed up <laughs> <laughs> uh golem or golem mm-hmm. for ps4 and q dot u dot b dot e dot two cube two was it cube or oh. pc mac ps4 and xbox one uh, March 15th, we got Surviving Mars right. for PC, oh, PS4, and Xbox popular. One. Yeah. And finally, mm-hmm. March 16th, we got two Burnout Paradise Remastered for PS4 and Xbox That's the one. one and Kirby Star Allies mm-hmm. yeah, good for the Switch. Cool. Awesome. David. Yeah. Friend to friend. Yeah. Bestie to bestie. Yeah. What have you played this week? What have I played this week? Well, I have played... Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5. Which one? The, or... the com- combination no, of them. Like, all, all, I just no, played every game? I, I oh, start, started damn. at the top. Uh, so Kingdom Hearts 1 okay. in that collection. Uh, it's on sale on PS4, so I grabbed it. Um, um, I just beat Halloween Town before coming here today. I'm not speedrunning it, 100%ing it, so I'm like 15 hours in. But, you know, it's good. Having fun with it. Is um, this include all gummy-related activities? 100%. Hundred percent, crazy. Yep. soul. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Uh, oh man, can I can I just tell you that I hate the Little Mermaid world. I hate it. What are you talking about? I What's hate wrong it. with Atlantica? It's I mess. hate it. When you speedrun the game, you skip it completely. So I, I was playing it today. And I was like, I haven't played this world in a few years. I'll play it. <laughs> this is why uh, it's the worst. It's so bad. I hate just sw- even just swimming in general is horrible. Oh. But. I told Colby earlier, Giant Ursula fight is super easy. Nope. Did it first try. Nope. Didn't have any issues. I don't know what you your guy's guy? problem is. He's stupid. <laughs> I believe we talked about this like four weeks ago. Yeah. Three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, you, you, told, cheated. Yeah, you cheated. guys told me it was super hard. And I was like, it's not proud. I'm, not, I'm kind of underleveled. It's really not hard. You cheated. I just got behind your head and hit her. That's Game all you shark. do. Game shark. Game genie. <laughs> Piece of work. It's, you just get behind her. GCC.com. But anyway, Fuck super her. easy. Piece of um, shit. But it's great. Love the game. Uh, I've also been playing a mobile mobile title. Ooh! I was looking on the App Store. I was like, what's a good game? And I saw this is game. Is it a gotcha game? It is not a gotcha game. <laughs> okay, okay. It's called I Heart Hue. Mm. And I looked like at it. Hue? Like it, H-U-E. Jimmy Neutron Hue? No, oh, like okay. he, Color Hue. Oh. And um, I looked at the ratings. It had like 300,000 reviews and a 4.9 score. Wow. And I was like, that is really high. What so I like bots. Might have been. But I downloaded it. I was like, I'll check it out. It's free. And all it is is like a move the tiles game, but you have to move the tiles to the right 
place so it makes like a color hue like from one color to the next how do you play your color blind i actually have trouble with, oh. it, with some levels but <laughs> but it helps me it helps me a little bit um it's fun there's no microtransactions it's just like play and it's very simple and relaxing so i like it honesty cool. is the best policy indeed mm-hmm. and besides that just wow Ugh. <laughs> still trash i hate you uh and we played temporal invasion today and recorded it yeah which is fun yeah that was cool interesting shit. which will be on the channel soon yep uh besides that mm-hmm. i don't think i played anything else mm-hmm. no I th- yeah I th- oh final fantasy 15 on pc oh yeah, yeah. windows edition yes did, windows did edition you, which did you get uh <clears throat> the, the half-life stuff i did not i don't not sure uh-huh. why actually because i pre-ordered it but i did get yeah. a lot of weird stuff maybe you um, have it but you haven't unlocked it yet maybe I don't know. But I got a lot of weird stuff. I started with a lot of outfits yeah. that I don't remember being in the game, like a Magitek suit where you just look like an alien from Halo. Yeah. Uh, it's really weird. And you start with the sword Ragnarok, which is one of the latest, the last swords you get in the game. What the I hell? don't know why I have it, but it gives you five times warp strike damage, so I just oh one shot everything. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't know why I have it. But uh, it's, a, it's great. It looks beautiful. It looks way better than the console version. My only issues... You need a monster of a PC to run this game. Uh, Isn't it like a bajillion gigs? The game itself is about 70 gigs. Oh, um, holy hell. Yeah. The only two games I have that are that big are The Witcher with all the DLC and World of Warcraft. Yeah. And so it's huge. Um, yeah. You need a monster to play this game. My computer's... About a couple years ago, I paid, I paid like total of $1,000 for it. So it's like pretty good computer. I run on average settings. Yeah. So it's it's tough. You get sixty FPS? With... No, uh. I get like fifty most time on average, mm-hmm. which it's it's rough. Um, my other issue: if you have dual monitors and you full screen this game, it completely blacks out your other monitor. Uh, oh, I don't know ugly. why it does it. I tried looking it up, and it's happening to a bunch of people. I don't know why. Yeah, and if you Might play it, fixed. if you play it on windowed mode on 1080p. Like 1920 by 1080. It bleeds into your other monitor. Uh. So the only way to fix it is to do this like weird fix to make it in windowed in one monitor and you can't do full screen. <laughs> or you can just play it full screen without looking at your second monitor because uh, it blacked out. So that's, that, that's a little weird. Yeah, hopefully they didn't patch that out. Yeah. And I also had my game crash once because it's haunted. Um, because I was what? walking <laughs> I was walking through Golden Key, which is one of the towns in the game. And I was walking by the bartender lady that you can like shop from. And then my camera just, I hit a button, just takes control, zooms in onto this, like, child drawing of the bartender lady, and then just crashes. I was like, bend what down! <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. It was really weird. But, uh, yeah. Besides that, I'm loving the game. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, you yeah. have the DLC with that, right? Like All the DLC. Yeah, it's yep. cool. And I think if you pre-ordered it, you get the pass for the next batch of DLC? Yep. So... So much DLC with that game. Holy yeah. crap. Yep. So I'm uh, excited to play through it again. Blake, what have you played this week? Two weeks. Well, I have um, I am uh, re- repurposing my segment, my time. Because, let's be honest, um, unless something interesting is happening in Dokkan or Duel Links or... The only two games I play. Yes. Ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just redundant. So I'm turning this into my Marvel rewatch se- um segment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've currently watched through Iron Man one. Mm-hmm. We because, are like halfway you know, through Hulk. This is a continuation of a past story. I don't know if you said this on the podcast in which you bought the Blu-ray versions of the first yes, wave. Yes. I, don't, of I don't remember. Marvel. I don't think I. Said I don't. That. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah. I think you did because I remember you saying it. I said to you and him. I remember uh, talking I about it in the kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Well, they work. <laughs> yeah, nice. they're, they're from England. Yeah. Um, I watched the first Iron Man. It holds up. Yeah, it's good very move. good. Villain, yeah. wheat, but otherwise, good movie. After rewatching <laughs> it, I appreciated him more. Yeah. O- uh, hmm. Obadiah, uh, the dude yeah, from yeah. Uh, Obadiah Springfield. No, that's oh. Jebediah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very good. Um. Fucking Tony Stark is beautiful, man. Uh, I I'm sad that guy died in the beginning, like the guy that helped him escape the cave. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what it drives him. Yeah, Iron, Iron Man, Man One, best Iron Man. Hot takes, sad hot take. 
No, no, no that's not at all. <laughs> that's the general <laughs> consensus. Yeah, <laughs> so it, it's weird because um, I was like, I was like, yeah, the Iron Man trilogy is going to be the best, but it's actually the Captain America trilogy. It's yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I hate it when I'm just like Iron Man's my favorite but yeah but his movies try to suck and I'm like <laughs> damn it yeah. you're trying to write <laughs> he's a civil war and I love that movie though <laughs> um, yeah Iron Man fantastic uh, me and Ashley are currently in the middle of Hulk she likes to fall asleep during the movie so I'm like okay maybe next time um, I like that you just like she's, uh, she's you know, she works 40 yeah. hours a week she's yeah she's a she has the right to sleep you're right <laughs> Um, yeah, it's uh, as a little preview. Um, do you know who Ty Burrell is from Modern <laughs> Family, the dad? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I, I had no idea Carl he was in Winslow. that movie. I've seen the movie before. He's in I was Iron like, Man. No, no, no. We're t- I'm, 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 mo- I'm migrated into the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, yeah. I've only seen half of it so far. I'm just a little uh-huh. sneak preview, and uh, he's in that movie. And I was like, This dude's in this movie. Huh. And I, I, I didn't know that. Um, I've seen a lot of. Modern Family, and I think it's a really good show. I love Modern Family. It's a great show. I don't know anything about it. I can't tell if you're, like, <laughs> being sarcastic no, or I, not. No, I actually do enjoy the show. It's great. Um, All right. I got it. I, you don't agree? I, I, I think it's okay. It's not my favorite sitcom. I mean, me either. It's all right. Fresh Prince. Yeah. Um, and I do like it. <laughs> no, that's not even good. I mean, that isn't even that good. Because when you said freaking the father i thought of carl winslow no. <laughs> oh he's in uh, the hulk <laughs> oh yeah he's in that movie and then yeah. like it's weird seeing edward norton instead of mark ruffalo yeah, yeah yeah and i'm like i like edward norton and like the hulk looks really bad and this yeah. movie, that's 2008 yep have you guys seen the 2004 hulk yes oh yeah i saw that in the oh, drive-thru yeah. oh or drive-in okay. excuse me yeah, they like to uh, <laughs> emphasize on like split screen. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see so that movie. I own it. It was I so watch, dark. No, I, what I mean is I could not see what was happening <laughs> in that movie. I was like watching it. Like, 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 I remember being with my mom. We were like, we don't know what's going on. I, I, I had no idea what happened in that movie. Dogs. I, I have to rewatch that. Dogs. Dogs. I remember being like, this sucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> it did. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I, I'll get. I'll. I'll let you know if I rewatch that in uh, at any point. But yeah, Iron Man, boop, really good. I'll let you know how That's... the Hulk is and maybe Captain America. Yeah, please let us know. We all know Captain America is banging. So yeah. make sure you tell us. Have you seen the first one, Captain America? Yeah, the first Avenger. Did we? Did we see it? Not theaters. No, I saw it. It was great. Yeah. It's probably like the best I mean, first wave it's, one. It's the it's the weakest of the three, I uh, uh Captain America. But what's the strongest oh, yeah. in your opinion? Of the oh, Captain, Captain America? Yes. Uh, yo, Winter Soldier is phenomenal. Yeah, you're right. But I've seen it a couple times, mm-hmm. and I'm like, that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I've only seen Civil War once. Mm-hmm. No, I've seen it twice. I saw it in two years with. Man, fuck you. <laughs> that's my answer. The correct answer is Winter Soldier. <laughs> man but Iron Man so <laughs> they are they're both roads <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and fucking Don Ch- 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 <laughs> isn't in Iron Man it's the other dude yeah yep and Ashley's yep. like who's that I was like that's was supposed to be War Machine yep He's like, I don't know who War Machine is I was like we see the movies <laughs> <laughs> who's Iron Man <laughs> Is the Hulk in this one? No. <laughs> uh, um, good. I'm glad you're enjoying him. Yeah. And every time like he went on screen, I was like, yeah, I'm not good enough to be War Machine. I'm nope. in the second movie. I wish they just like, did their cut out. <laughs> really low budget. Like, it's me, Don Cheadle. <laughs> Let down those fighters. Or, I don't know, whatever his lines were in the first movie. My son's gay. You know, in the, the Logic music video? Yeah. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. It's a dude song. Oh, yeah. Kobe, what have you <laughs> played this week? Yeah, all right. I'll make it quick. I played a sh- uh, game called Abandoned Ship. Pro Jared started playing it, so it inspired me to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you played FTL, a uh, very similar style of game, but instead of, uh, you know, sci-fi, it is uh, like Eldritch, Cthulhu-esque, uh, mixed with Pirates of the Caribbean style. Um, so it's great. So you basically take control of a ship and you like modify the uh, 
weapons and all like the different utilities on that ship and whatnot. And there's a story mode to it. Huh. So it's not like FTL where like you just never win because that game is impossibly hard. Yeah. Um, and you just like keep dying and like going back and forth, but you actually, you know, go through it, mm-hmm. uh, through the story. Like the fight, like the first boss is like a Kraken, which is really cool. Uh, but it's an inter- interesting game. It's in early access right now. Okay. So the content's a little bare. And I've gotten to the point where it's actually really easy now. Oh, really? Like, it's supposed to be now. like notorious to be. It's supposed to be one of those games that's like really difficult. Mm-hmm. And I, I got that at the beginning, and then after I beat the Kraken, I just started just like just started uh, building up a bunch of resources, <laughs> and now it's pretty. Is it like FTL style of like visuals too? No, that uh, FTL was more two D. Yeah. Um, style. This is all three D rendered. Oh, okay. stuff. Uh, it's a really pretty game. Highly recommend. Uh, I already named you guys the crew. I think. Blake died. Oh, oh no! The only reason these crew die <laughs> again, it's super easy. The only reason he died was because sometimes you'll come across like you'll just search a map mm-hmm. and like, there are events they have to go in. And I'll do an event and like just like it's all RNG. Yeah. And be like, okay, I'm gonna pick up. I think what happened was I picked up some dude who was like start, you know, like stranded at sea. Yeah. We pulled him up and he went fucking insane and then killed Blake. <laughs> until we and then we killed him oh no damn so, alright that happened yeah I think you're still living maybe possibly I have to check it again Taylor died I had a lot of friends who died from bullshit <laughs> RNG reasons game's too easy right now though um, but I'm gonna keep playing it because I wanna beat the story right. and then I've been playing Stellaris um, <clears throat> which is essentially like space civilization except it's not like a um, what do they call those games the hexaton the civilization style games 4X? 4X, thank you. It's not like a 4X game in that regard, but uh, that game's really slow. I don't even know what to say about it. I've, I've put like five hours or even more into that game, and I I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that game is heavy with content. Yeah. It's ridiculous, and I haven't played it in a while. Might not pick it up again. What? <laughs> what? No, no. What? I don't remember his name. I don't want to say it. You don't remember. His oh, name. I don't know what you're talking about. No, because you mentioned that your game, the game was like Civilization. So I was like, "Is that monk guy in it?" You know, monk guy, <laughs> Gandhi. <laughs> you forgot Gandhi's name. I did for like ten seconds. I was like, "Who is this guy?" That monk guy. Like the name, like Bin Laden, came to my head. I was like, "Oh That's my not god." Not <laughs> This this episode uh, secondary was, titles cultural that inter- came to my head because I was thinking of the um what the happened? Lonely Island song fuck Bin Laden uh huh yeah great song like fuck Bin Laden yep. uh, that's what I've been playing this week <laughs> and by the way every time you mentioned FTL I was I thought you were talking about Fooly Cooly oh F- Fooly FL yeah. FLCL I yeah. need to watch that you've never watched it like, I've never the watched forehead. Fooly Cooly yeah I've never seen it nope. Season two or whatever what? is coming out. That's one of my favorite anime. Never Man. seen it. We need to sit it's super short, it's too. It's six episodes. I know. We need to sit down and watch it. I know. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us. But I think David has a recommendation this week. Because you I had it last just, time. Really? I thought I just did it. I did Brilliant.org. Wasn't that like last week? Oh. Oh, man. Is he right? Oh, it's my I turn. You're oh. an Yeah. Stupid. So I asked. Wait. Call me. Am I next? Because I did Pokemon. Did yeah, you're right. To be master, and he uh-huh. did his thing now. Yeah. Too. Okay, go ahead. Call me. Yeah. If you could recommend anything. Yeah. Whether it was something or another thing, what would it be? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even try. <laughs> uh, if I had to recommend one thing to anybody out there in the world, it could be anything at all. I would recommend... Kind of what I'm fully craving. Fully. No, <laughs> I would recommend Milano cookies. Not any Milano cookie, but like the chocolate Milano cookies. Yeah, those are banging, huh? Those yeah, aren't. overpriced, but banging. I agree. Good stuff. I recommend it. Uh, Milano cookies. <laughs> cool. I'm tired, Great. man. <laughs> no, I feel you. All right. So thank you for joining us for the. Wait. Two- I want to bring up one thing. What? I don't know if we just we just been slacking. Uh huh. Or if we just haven't been beaten games, mm-hmm. we haven't reviewed a game on this show in like twelve mm, quite years. Quite a while, yeah. It's been a. It's been I haven't. A I haven't beaten a game in a long time. Mm. You think I have? No. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just pointing it out. Yeah. We'll have to, we need to step up our game. Yeah. You're right. Not yeah, me. You're right. <laughs> I mean, we beat Doki Doki. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. 
We'll do our formal review. <laughs> Zoji Dame. You're right. If I had to rate on a scale, if I had to rate Doty Doty Literature Club, uh-huh. which you can check out a full playthrough on our YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, the visual novel horror game. I would give Doty Doty Literature Club, Literature Club a. I have recommend point my... five. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is not a bang. For people who don't know, because it's been 40 episodes. Yeah. We have a stale from Garbaggio to Banyan. Yes. Uh, recommend is essentially the four out of. Yeah. Yeah. And we give it a 4.5, essentially. Yeah. So. It, it's good. Um, if you like visual novels, it's probably one of the best ones out there. Yeah. And it's not like overly bearing, you know, overly bearing in terms of like expedition or whatever. It's, yeah. It's not the visual novel like feel to it and everything but uh it's, it's slow it's slow paced the twist man <laughs> yeah it, it turns into something great it does um and it just sucks you in like, yeah. immediately and it's free to play that's true so that's what it gives wrong. it the point five for me yeah perfect there's our review blade doty doty literature club highly recommend yes good go play all right thank you so much for joining us for the tip top and Nets podcast make sure you check us out on all of our social medias including youtube facebook twitter twitch.tv uh google play music and itunes and not spotify for all of our goodness we got podcast posts on most of those and we got our twitch channel for streams and make sure you check out all our let's plays we got plenty of good let's plays out there goodness for you yeah please admit, hit those uh follow subscribe buttons hit that little bell ding, ding. ring that bell ring that smash, smash that that bell. Bell. uh <laughs> hit all the nice little buttons there show your support comment lights all that it, everything really helps we appreciate yeah. all of your support it's very true mm-hmm. we, we heart you and uh that's it for us we're gonna see mm-hmm. you on the next week's podcast later see ya all right <laughs>